All right. Uh, this here is possibly the most exciting uh, project on the blockchain. It just launched like last week. I found about it yesterday, and I'm going to show you how to growth hack it. This is something um, shit I am good at. So um, anyway, the um, let's see here. Let me end out of that. End out of that. So. All right, so BitClout. All right, so I just sent this tweet, right? I'm live here, you're seeing this, and what this all about, all right? Now, a little bit about myself. I am a gamer, right? And gamers, there are, uh, especially MMOGs, basically know about um, grinding. So this is the grind. So one thing you have to do is, I need to get to, I have to find a, uh, the the profile of okay top weekly creators let's tick on this here this is creators right so what you want to do first is I'm going to scroll all the way down here all right and um, you're going to want to go all the way down and what I'm looking for and this is the other thing I want to see open a new tab let's see if this tab thing's gonna open Yes. Okay. So um, we're going to keep scrolling down um, and get down to the lowest we can. Ideally, I want to go all the way down to the bottom. There's Brock Pierce, right? Actually, I think I bought some of Brock, right? But right now, what you're going to want to do is you're going to BitClout Creators and... Um, on the fence here let me just tell him here uh, messaging yeah on
right, let's go back here. Um, and uh, go here. Now, why am I doing this? This is going to take time. So this is the most important page you can be on. Now, the folks that are blue are the ones that have an account. Okay? And these guys um, are the ones, you know, so you want to go down and actually just follow the ones that have verified their account. The reason for this is really simple. Hopefully, we'll follow you back. You verified your account. So as you get further and further down, as you can see, what's going to happen is there's going to be more further and further apart. Now, you could just follow everyone, but what will happen there, you'll flood the system, you'll time it out, possibly crash the system. That's what some people are, or what's happening with it, right? And this is all about, and the other thing is, let's, um, I need to, hold on, let me go here. Something else I want to do here is, um, where's my home? All right, made it. Okay, I need to post, right? Um, right, there's a picture. Undadu is here. Sadu. I am live twenty four seven growth. I'm here. Is it twitch.tv? The hell's my. Alright. Um, yeah, my. Let's see. What the hell? I'm all excited now. Is it twitch.tv? Yeah, twitch.tv forward slash found ups okay um, growth hacking hacking clout uh, let's not say uh, I'm live twitch.tv found ups on on clout So why am I doing this? Number one is as I'm liking folks, they're going to go and check me out. They're going to check out my posts. They're going to come to found ups and they're going to see what I'm doing and learn what I'm doing. Hopefully they're going to invest in what I'm doing by buying my super cheap coin right now. Okay. Right. Also, I am in Discord, right? So I go to my Discord channel, right? So I'm going here. Here's my Discord. I'm going to be in Dog's Open Office right here. Here I have a person who joined. Okay. I'll make sure he's added roles. Um, actually, a new, he's a new team member. All right. Give him leadership. I know who he is. Actually, you know what? I'm not going to make him a team leader I'm making him uh, an ambassador right because he is this guy here leads up the NFTs I connected with yesterday on it so that's done here and um, so I'm in my chat I'm live on Twitch TV found ups talking bit clout, right? I don't know if there's hashtags in this. I'm no I don't know, but I'm gonna hashtag anyway, right? Um 
I also want a hashtag. I don't know if there's hashtags in this. So let's post that. So <laughs> nice BitCloud did it all my posts. <laughs> Welcome. Right. So I'm gonna laugh at that. Welcome to It's important, too, that you engage, right? All right. So <laughs> it's the alpha. It will happen again, right, on there. So, so now, it, okay, the hashtag's there. This isn't. So now what I've done on that. So back to growth hacking. So what I'm going to keep doing is as I'm going down, right, you're going to first, I'm going to go down and, and follow. What does follow do? It's going to put eyeballs on your profile. A little story. Back when Angel, Angel List, um, Navelle's Angel List launched, right, I was one of the alpha testers on that too. And uh, for kicks and giggles, let's see if I can find the video, right, to show you this video on it. Um, let me go to my shit. YouTube is so fucked, dude. I want my videos. I don't want my channel. Here's my videos, okay? Click on your videos. And if I type in here, okay, search across your channel. Um, Angel, Angel list, passive aggressive, blocking follow back. So I had a fight with them, Angel Gate, right? Look at these banning users. I, this is back in 2012, 2011, right? These videos here. Um, I am such a growth hacker, I get banned and locked down on it. Open start, here's, here you go. Open new tab. So these are some of the angel list videos. Now the follow, follow, follow one on it. So this is 2011 video of of it. And uh, let's see. I'm trying to find the follow, follow, follow one, which may be on my other account. Naval. Uh, So it's not on this account. Here's old Wikitube, 2011 startup of mine. You see how, just a little quick note here. You see how the videos are at the bottom, okay? So the view of YouTube full screen with videos at the bottom is technically my copyright. Just pointing out this, right? I was the first one to ever do this. This is the setup. This is your full view on YouTube. And uh, back then, and this is actually the copyright violation, right? Um, this is how YouTube was back in the day. I have a video here, but I'm not, uh, my point is to try to find the follow, 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 but we'll get that later. So when it comes to, um, growth hacking and this is, I'm going to be doing this all day. So if you want to talk, keep me company, um, you can join me on discord of foundups.org. I'm going to type it in if you want to chat, if you want me to follow you, right? You want me to invest in what you're doing, right? Invest in your thing. You're new on um, uh, BitClout. I will invest in you, all right? So there's BT, there's BT. The Sadu of Bitcoin, blockchain, and AI is here. And this is my wow for you gamers it'll make sense on what that is so i won't be surprised okay so like the guy posted his all his posts are down you i'm only putting that one post um 
I could do another post. Let's say here. The other, okay, so this is actually important. Actually, I'm going to do another post. So I'm going to copy Patreon. So, so think of this. I want, Patreon is my funnel. Patreon funnel, I've raised $30,000 on Patreon uh, back in 2015, 2016, within a year from its launch. I want to drive people there, okay? So um, what I want to do is um, create another message, right? The Lion Zodiac. And I'm going to hashtag. I'm going to assume hashtags in the future, or maybe they won't be, will be there. So the Lion Zodiac Pro is Fifth age is now. Right? And this is the communication platter, right? Right here you. And what I'm gonna do no, I don't want tech crunch. Copy link. Right. Why is it not doing it? There it is. Co good way posted in here why am I not going to view because these are this is my list of stuff that if I want to post I have them all here I right click copy it so um, on it and um, I'm going to show you another trick on LinkedIn which I'm going to do right but let's finish this get let's get my collateral set up on here first And I'm going to, I don't want this, I want an image. So you always want to post an image, right? So let's put an image, let's validate me. So people coming in and what are they going to see? They're going to see me. Did I just crash this? What's going on? There it is. So, right? So that's validation. Here I am with my son. To you, the vision, the creator. And his sadhu, right? The creator. And the sadhu. NFT available. All right. So you can get this NFT. The creator with the sadhu. All right. Post. So basically, this is eyeball candy. So sadhu and do is here. I am live. I wonder if I can edit this. I can't edit this. All right. All right. Let's go back. So, um, 
Let's go to my home. Here's my profile. Profile should be down. So that's all I'm going to do. Why am I only going to do two posts? Because this is, hey, I want you to come to be live here. Number two, I'm validating who I am and I'm driving you to where? To Patreon, which is going to provide you insight to what I'm doing, right? So LinkedIn is the same thing. I'm gonna show you a trick here on LinkedIn. I'm gonna drive people to my clout profile. So what you're going to do is on LinkedIn. Now I have a, uh, if you noticed, if you don't know who I am and you're here watching me, I'm gonna give you an example. If you give me any name, let's say, um, let's say um, um, Andreessen. And I can't spell. All right, let's say like here, there's Andrew Yang. There's Andrew Yang, one connection. So because I'm connected to Andrew Yang, I'm connected to everyone in the Republican hierarchy party, right? Um, and here is Ethereum Joseph, okay, Joe Lubin. All right, now understand I'm taking, anyone who knows me knows that I basically say I'm the inspiration, I'm the why of the blockchains, I'm the guy who um, shared the vision of what you call the blockchain, um, which just for kicks and giggles, if you don't know who I am, let's just go to my, um, uh, actually I want to pull this up anyway, so I need to go to my um, drive, all right, uh, Google Drive, and I want to open up these two things here, I don't want to preview, I want to open up this deck here. So this right here is what you call the blockchain. The blockchain actually was embedded in the 80s, early, uh, early 90s. This is um, everything on the blockchain is right here in this 2012 document that I released. And I actually renamed in 2018 with this yellow to show you all the different parts. Um, the to uh, clout is launched is basically this here, right? They are, uh, they're doing the same thing. Here. They're validating, they're, uh, you're building followers, um, and they're, you know, um, and, you're, and you're interacting. The idea is tokenized. What I'm building is the open tokenization framework. It is this part right here. I'm not building anything else over here or, or the DAO part. It's literally this part right here. And what makes me really excited about BitClout is they're proving you know this this money here is a token right right each of these is basically a token they all have a different a different value token you see that they're all it's a token and what they're doing is they're taking that token and they're putting a value to it and you're just seeing the value right this this what they're doing is these are all this is the elon token this is the Naval token this is the ch token right they're just not showing you the token, they're just showing the value of their token. Make sense? And then they're tying that invisible token. What I'm doing is saying, you know, I don't like this because this, you know, this basically is 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 bullshit, right? I'd rather you have, you know, you 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 get the token. So instead of you getting a token for an individual, just imagine this is a token for your idea. So what BitClout is doing is basically doing what I want to do, but again, they're focused on one very small aspect of the tokenized world, which is tokenizing the individual. Make sense on that? So going back to LinkedIn, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to send, here is my, you know, my network, give you an idea who I am. You can see I started, started working on FoundUps 3.0 this thing February 28th, I reactivated my premium account and boom, right? And then I didn't, I was building a lot of the prototype here, like all the collaterals and everything else. So my thing went off. Now watch this, right? I'm going to take this 
and this is going to go like Bitcoin. It's going so there's the peak 2017, and how am I going to do that? It's really simple. I go to my home page, all right. I go to my my profile, and I'm going to go down here, and this is the hack. I've got my 5,200 followers, um, and I am going to basically add a new experience, all right. And what am I? I'm a growth hacker. Right? What growth hacker am I? I'm um, at. Now understand that um, this is no company, right? There is no entity behind this company. So BitClout. There is no bit clout. Holy cow. No bit clout. All right. So before I do that, discard this, go down here, create a company, right? This is um right, name. All right. The other thing I want to do here, I'm re redoing the group right so I'm gonna beat um, groups open new tab I'm redoing my group right so I'm going to now create the largest bit clout group on LinkedIn right I'm going to grab this here um, let's click on this here all right um, and we need to get, we need to set up the collaterals here. So the first thing I do, need to do also is I need to get the uh, page for uh, BitClout, right? Need to find images on there. All right, so here is the images. All right, file. Click on this here, file save as all right you'll see what I'm going to be doing this this is all right so I'm building the collaterals for BitClout um, I like this here all right I'm going to open this up I'm going to steal this right Save image as. It's all about, um, and this is a banner for BitClout. So I'm building, what I'm building is the community on LinkedIn banner. So as everyone is just like find, waking up to BitClout, I'm already building the community banner BitClout, right? So now that I have these, you know, uh, done, because basically I'm setting up the, I'm, I'm redoing this. Um, so what I need to do is open up a simple thing called paint. You ever heard of paint, right? I'm opening up paint and I'm rushing, right? I'm basically the first one out of the thing. I'm going to file. I'm going to open all right, the banner. Where's the banner? God damn it. There it is. All right, so here's the banner. No. File. Open. Uh, don't save. All right. So we're going, so here's the banner, right? So I need this a little bit longer. Um, I'm going to basically, this is uh, LinkedIn, so I don't need this. All right, uh, track, join. Delete that, okay. Then what I can do is just do this, grab that, fix that, fix that, fix that, right? So what I love about this, um, and I really want to use, use white, okay, on that. 
Um, the font is one of these silly fonts on here. I wish there were, I don't know if it's system. That's not the one I want. Uh, I need to find that font. Maybe it's not not a bad this here. Let's do a hundred. All right. And uh, let's do this to blue. So it's LinkedIn, right? IN. So it kind of looks like LinkedIn needs to be a little bit bigger. I don't mind the two fonts. Let's do 120. Alright. And I can change this. I what I want to do is get this up. Right? And then on here we will do join right that's too big Don't need join, right? Actually, don't need that. Um, the hottest, what do I want to put? BitCloud LinkedIn Network. Actually, you know what? I just want to say be the cloud. Let's keep it simple. All right. So there, there's my banner. Okay, that's that's good right now. Whoa, fuck that up, fuck that up, fuck that up. All right. So that's what I like about the back thing. <laughs> I fucked up the thing. All right. And the other thing is, let's get the logo on here. That's why I grabbed the logo. So if I go um, paint again, open up another paint, file, open, and uh, there's the logo. And I'm just going to grab the logo, copy, and post here. Here, here. I like it there. All right, kaboom! Very easy. Recenter this a little bit here. All right, crop that, and I'm done. So now I go to um, LinkedIn. OTF Cardano, and uh, redo this. Redo this. Upload image. Oh, I need to save this. Save this. Okay. Need to go to uh, there it is. 
is apply edit this upload logo go to here actually I want to go through here and um, let's grab this part here copy that let's go back to the logo let's close this here all right let's resize this 50% okay all right all right um, I need to make this a little, little bit here right there right here go here crop center this a little bit better the bum on there all right uh, save that go back to the page so what I'm doing right now is um, the hell or the close that out I don't know why that didn't work let's see edit group change this upload this all right there it is uh, this needs to be centered a little bit better Um, yeah, you're not going to play all day so, because I'm working. Stop I'm working. It, stop it. Oh, too bad. Stop it. You can, too bad. You had all last night, two in the morning. I'm working now. Stop it. Well, you know, you can go to your friend's house. You got your other games. There you go, teenage. Probably got to sabotage the, uh, <laughs> Here, upload image, apply, edit, upload in image, apply. See the cloud. All right, so they have pretty much launched. All right, let's refresh this. Why? Let's do a step at a time. Upload image. 
apply. Okay? Save. Alright. Go here. Why is that working? All right, what's going on here? All right. Maybe they'll like the name. Boom. All right. The group bit clout. So, um, I'll probably, you had it all morning, right? So maybe in the, maybe we'll see in the afternoon. I'll take a break and you can play, okay? And you can get your prepaid card, okay? All right? What do you want? I appreciate you letting me use it. This is really big. This is really big, Tommy. This is like a new game coming out. And uh, I appreciate your understanding. Okay? Love you. So this is called a pivot. What I've done is I've pivoted this group, right? So um, now what I want to do is I have the group set up. I need to set up the company now on here.
watch me on watch me on Twitter um, I'm inviting Brock. All right. So I've listed the group. There's 800 members. Okay. And um, I'm going to grab this group, copy here. I'm going to go to Discord. Where's my Discord? Right. I'm going to go over to the uh, BitClout group that we have here. Hey, guys. Alright, made the LinkedIn group. Um, and uh, I'm uh, streaming. Right, so um, there's no general talk. I'm gonna go right in here. You know, I'm gonna be in here. Uh, share my screen. All right, go live. So I'm gonna be actually a uh, BitClout Mafia group. I'm gonna be live here streaming, so you can watch me on Twitch. Um, ping me. Uh, blockchain mafia is if you're interested in clout you know join that um, and uh, I'm going to all right so I'll move this down so I got the group set up as uh, I'll make you guys I'll make them admins as they come in right so I can post actually my um, my undo copy that there I'm gonna need that for LinkedIn we're still not done with LinkedIn all right so now we want to do the clout page uh, website uh, here's the website um, bit clout there's no company right so everyone owns this this is a blockchain so there is no ownership of this right when it comes to and this is informate um, you know they don't have I don't know what uh, marketing and advertising I guess company size 100,000 plus company type it's a uh, public company self-employed government nonprofit sole pri private partnership it's not a public company not you see the DAOs aren't right here not government agents not sold not privately held there's no company right well, put fucking nonprofit. <laughs> I don't know. What do you put here? Right? Self employed? I guess we're all self employed, right? Employees are all self employed. Choose the logo. Get the logo up here. All right? Here's the logo. Ka bum. Right? Tagline. Um, I'm going to grab my tagline from the group here. If I edit the group, right? Copy. All right, go back to here. We're all authorized on this. Um, create. All right. So there is no entity.
behind it, change this here, edit page. Um, uh, let's the uh, the white you could link to the white paper description. So um, open up their white paper, right? So let me open up their white paper here, use their terms. Um, So why am I doing this? All right, as I'm doing this, this um, why can't I do quick file? Quick file uh, notifications wallet. I want to see their web page. All right, let me open up on a different browser. Because I'm automatically logging in. All right, so you need to have, so if you get this error, all right, it's good that I have this. You go to my, uh, on, in my uh, Twitch Twitter account, right? I'm gonna share with you the link. So if you get this error here, what you have to do is on my Twitch account, FoundUps. Um, I'm actually gonna post the. All right, where is FoundUps Core? Copy this link. So this is, I'm going to post it in, in Twitch here, what it is. Join. Yep. Okay, brother. Give me a hug. Love you. Be safe, okay? Are you driving your bike? All right. Wear your hat. Your, your helmet, okay? All right. So I got to go in here type in this code right and it's going to load up the page here on it so setting up your account on it um, boom right so I want to read the white paper one pager grab this here copy copy now I want to go back to here Um, actually, let's open this up. So, BitClout is like Bitcoin. For Twitter. Okay. Um, and BitClout is like Bitcoin. but for Twitter. Save. And the header, page information, LinkedIn, BitClout, right? Overview, white paper, all right? Read, read the one pager okay save um, locations 
there is no office hashtag add a hashtag hashtag bit clout right boom added um, Bitcoin right added uh, and blockchain blockchain technology all right save that um, feature group so now you know why I made all right bit cloud save okay so now I have the group everything here everything's on here on it Joe. Call Joe. Why is he not? What are you doing, man? All right. Doing, man. The Hello? fucking, the most fucking excited. What, what I'm doing is happening. What, what my tokenization framework is fucking happening, man. It's awesome. I, I know your conversation. Your talk. Your conversation. I, I couldn't hear any of it. You muted me, but Doss said it was going went well. And then I went on Discord and you muted me because you're right in the middle of it. I know you want to get disturbed. No, I'm congratulations. About, no, Did no, you get that? No, 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 no. Fuck that shit. No, this is fucking, this is a, a million times bigger than that shit. What? Right? It's called BitClout. It's happening right now, and you need to get on now, it. Now, and you need to get on it. You need to drop fucking and get on it. What is it, Bit? Yeah, right now? Right. So, yeah, you need to be watching my stream and seeing what I'm doing. I'm setting up all the collaterals for it. I've redone my, um, my page. Um, and basically, it's the tokenized you, right? So, you, so... So, so this uh, the public release is today. Twitter is dead. Twitter has been destroyed in one day by the blockchain. That's how big this is. Okay. So wow. the alternative to Twitter just launched is called BitClout, and you need to get on there and you need to be watching what I'm doing and actually getting you know doing it now because this is the the momentum on building this is a very short window. Why is that not showing? What the hell? He's he's trying to start. He's starting this new concept. It's a little complicated, but it's not. I'm not started anything, dude. It's launched. Hello. It got, it, it Hello. Launched. What launched? Who launched it? And it's, why is everything dropping today? It's all well. It's all going to go down, man. For a little bit. It's all going to go down. People are going to pull stuff out. So, so. Yeah, I did too. Um, why can't I find this copy? Copy. Why is it not putting the link here? Source, one page, PDF. Why, when I type in the... Alright, whatever. Okay, source. Alright, save. 
Um, bit cloud. I like that. Bit clout. Bit cloud. Yeah. All right. So basically, you need to on my Twitch account, both of you and everyone, everyone you know, you need to say click on here and set up yeah. and, res and basically get on on onto it. All right. I'm going to be doing this 24/7. I'm going to be basically growth hacking the shit out of this. And that's what I'm making a video on, on how to growth, growth hack, right? How we can basically build up the value of, um, and there's a discord here is, um, I'm in a, uh, let's see these guys. I'm actually in their discord. It smells good. Um, let's see I mean, mine like so much simpler. I wonder if happens here. Oh my god, this is a good answer for that. Visit benefit.com and discover your job. My hygienist can use it around the head. So there's no OLB. My hygienist personally uses my cleaning. So it's my OLB. My hygienist uses my pressure. And so is my OLB. Oh, I'm gonna go fuck these guys. I'm just gonna go back to our page. Right. Get them. Um, I'm in Dog's office. Let me unmute you if you come into Dog's right, office. All right. So go there, get Dostros in here, and let me just talk you through. All right. All right. What what all I'm right. doing? Okay. All right. It's not working.
So now I go here. All right, so now I can go here. And I can go to, um, go down here.
All right. Um, where's the code? This is the code. Copy. All right. So here is the code. Actually, copy this. I'm going to go here and do a bitly on this. Um, create. This is a. Cool, I got BitClout. Nice. So as everyone right now is building, I'm building all these things. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right, media link. I want to go to. Um, the white paper. Um, let's see, upload link. Uh, what am I looking for? Copy, boom. Add. All right, uh, upload. Let's load the banner. So I got to go here. Boom. Let's just re-edit this here. All right, crop this. Um, go to the other one here. Grab this here. Copy. Go back here. Paste. That's not quite right.
All right, let me go into the um, Hey, hey, Thor. How you doing? Hey, what's up? Undow do, brother. Hey, what's up, bro? Hey, listen. I'm uh, I'm basically um gonna be on clout clouding 24/7, right? Um, and I'm actually streaming it on um on my Twitch, right? Um, found up Twitch. If anyone wants to watch how I'm basically growth hacking it, um. But also what I've done is I've set up the LinkedIn group. I've also set up the company. So um, I have a very extensive LinkedIn network. So I'm going to be driving folks to, to it. So I don't know how many of you, are you on LinkedIn? Anyone here on LinkedIn? Okay. So basically there, I'm a, I'm a LinkedIn growth hacker, right? I'm a, I'm a, you know, um, I push a lot. If you, if anyone's connected to me, you'll notice like I'm, I'm, I, I use LinkedIn in a very different way than anyone else does, right? It's my pipeline. And ultimately there's a very simple little trick that you can do. And I recommend uh, folks, if you have a LinkedIn network to do this, I'm about to do it right now and you can watch me on, on Twitch. I've, um, I'm adding clout to my LinkedIn profile, what that does is it sends a message, it bypasses their spam filters, right? So all of my 10,000 connections from Joe Lubin to, you know, um, uh, Brock to all of them gets this notification that, um, you know, that I'm growth and I'm basically putting, I'm growth hacking on, on clout. I've linked the white paper, I've created the entity and other people have kind of done this with other, if you have any coins on, you know, like other exchanges, decentralized exchanges on, on uh, LinkedIn, uh, people have kind of done that. If we can drive a lot of folks to clout and to, you know, to the network by using a simple little technique. And I just want to just throw that out there. So if anyone's interested, you know, um, they can kind of see what I'm doing. Just undow do, brother. Undow do. Also, um, anyone here um, that joins, I'll make you an administrator. I already have a thousand people in our clout group on LinkedIn. Look at that. How the fuck did undow do have a thousand people on, on the group? So there's a clout group there already. Anyone who joins there right now, I'll make you an admin of the group. So just look for look for clout LinkedIn. Look so go to groups on LinkedIn. Look for clout right and join that I'll make you an admin so what I'm doing right now is I'm setting up my LinkedIn profile I'm actually setting up the um, my LinkedIn I'm about to pimp it out so I'm creating the collaterals and you can just grab the collaterals that I am do you know uh, using right 
for yourself or whatever to your net. So you don't have to create anything. I'm already creating it all. So I'm actually, I was long, launching a tokenization framework, right? And imagine if anyone could tokenize, uh, you know, anything, right? What they've done is they've tokenized individuals. So I've taken my, my phrase and my, in my, um, my group and I've just pivoted it, right? I said, fuck what I'm doing. This is, this is, <laughs> they're already fucking doing it, right? <laughs> right? So I've pivoted my group to clout, right? I just took out tokenize anything to tokenize yourself. So imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves, 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 and be the next Bitcoin built on blockchain and, and, and Bitcoin store of value, right? That's kind of the cat, cat, cat. That was my, I just modified my little, you know, uh, phrase, and I'm using that. So it kind of communicates the fact that, uh, you know, what this is and the simple fact that this is like Bitcoin um, um, on it. So if you search for Undowdo on, on, on LinkedIn, you'll find me. And if you search for uh, BitClout, you'll find the organization. And if you want to watch what I'm doing and just copy what I'm doing, you can just go to FoundUp's uh, Twitch and I'm, and I'm streaming. I wish if any of you guys, now I'm not a tech guy, right? I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I'm one step removed from a spammer. That's called a crowdsourcer, okay? So it's a fine line that you've got to tread lightly. But something I've noticed on Twitch is you can put, um, like there is, um, someone was able to put Bitcoin as a tag, right? So when you go to your stream manager and you go edit and you've got this category, we need to get clout on there. If anyone knows how to fucking do that, so we can, you know, start using Twitch, right? And doing the same for Instagram and, and stuff. Right, that would be amazing. Anyone have any ideas? So right now, I I'm using the category Bitcoin. On you can't find Undow Do on LinkedIn. Hold on, let me hold on, let me just finish this here. Hold on. Yeah, yeah. Well, see, at All right, hold on. Let me just I'm trying to get this fucking thing on. It's driving me crazy. Yes, just it, it should pop up if you type BitClout in search. Go to groups and search here. If you go to my Twitch, just go to FoundUp's Twitch, and I'll link everything. It'll be easier, right, than you searching for this crap. Just go to Twitch.tv/FoundUp's. All right, I'm gonna link it right now. I'm I'm fucking struggling with this stupid bullshit here. All right, so here is the um. Okay, hold on. Let me. Um, so, what I'm trying to do is fix this. This is one of the collaterals. It's just so fucking stupid. Hold on. Let me just. Uh, I'm updating. So, this is what I'm doing right now. So, I've added. So, you can add BitClout as your company, right? So, you can add this to your LinkedIn profile. I've already set up the company. Okay. Uh, the date start, obviously, it's fucking March, right? Uh, 2021. Um, I've ended this position here, the Super Bowl production thing that I was working on. And then in here, I said in the headline, uh, what you want to do, what I'm writing here is basically growth hacker, right? I'm a growth hacker. We're all growth hackers right now. I am. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I, hey, I'm the founder of growth hacking. <laughs> okay. Uh, if I can spell growth hacker, right? growth uh, hacking um, and we want to put um, what the hell is this place called bit clout or maybe just growth uh, growth hacking bit clout. so so the um, the headlines important because this is what everyone's gonna see right so never um, um, growth hacking um, bit clout so in here, right, I want to put, 
right? I'm gonna put uh, my uh, here is the group. Uh, this is the this is the company. So this to me, this phrase, imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin built on blockchain. But this is powerful, right? Probably the most powerful. And this is ultimately what we're doing, right? I want to be the next fucking Bitcoin on 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 um, clout, right? Ultimately. Um, and uh, so I want that is the message I want to send out to folks, right? So growth hacking clout, imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin built on blockchain and Bitcoin store of value. And then uh, description. Um, um, and, and I think we can all agree that BitClout is going to be bigger than Facebook, bigger than Twitter, right? Why is this not? It will. Yeah, it's this. The. Uh, it is. Uh, it's it's going. It's it's. When, when you got Sequoia Capital, right? You know who Sequoia Capital is, guys, right? It's the largest VC. There is no company, right? There is no company. Right. That that the tokens is the company, right? That is the Bitcoin. So they own No, I mean I I do want I do want to just say like it's holding the token finds utility in the capacity. But what what you're saying is absolutely true. That Diamond Hands decides to add more features than people want and it causes on site time to be reduced, that will not just hurt the platform, it will hurt the token, right? I think I I believe in the platform. I mean I'm still bullish. I think that we're at a thousand new I don't know why I'm not running an issue here. I don't know why if I'm being blocked already by LinkedIn. This is funny. So, uh, So, and all you want to grab grab that Thor, or do you, I want me to answer that? Go ahead, please. All right. So it so right now the code is an open source, right? But it's going to be open source ba based on the white paper, and um, how Clout's working in is copying Bitcoin, in the sense that this is a decentralized applic application. Um, they're they're going to have the same. Uh, nodes and everything else to maintain this network and based on if you read the white paper it kind of answers that so there is no centralized entity that owns it there is kind of right now because it's young just like when Satoshi launched Bitcoin it was on his server right Okay, so so what and, and kind of what happened yesterday, the reason why it went down, and if you saw that announcement earlier, is they're adding new nodes. So, and, and, and ultimately, as they wrote in the white paper, if you run a node, you'd earn some of the, the, you know, the tokens and blah, blah, blah out there. So they're deploying right now, and they're trying to keep up with, with you know, with the demand. So there is, the way they've structured this, there is no entity behind it. This is a beautiful example of how every project should ultimately be launched on the blockchain in my opinion the way they use bitcoin the way they're getting around all the legal stuff that's been going you know there it's in 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 my point about sequoia capital isn't the fact that they control anything it's the fact that you have the biggest fucking gorilla on the planet in your corner 
which has tentacles into the wealth and power cycles of Wall Street, you know, Wall Street, everywhere, right? They reach everywhere. And the simple fact that they have these core folks means they have, you know, they've got, you know, they've got linebackers behind the skinny little quarterback, right? Which is them. They're the quarterback. Make sense? All right, so it just follow Bitcoin. It needs to. They need to open source the the project, um, just like Cardano, just like Ethereum. You know, Ethereum. Now, they they do. You know, Cardano has IOHK. They're just the development arm. This project will have or consensus for you know consent. The the government can't go after Joe and go after consensus for it. They're just developers. So they're going to roll out. Um, um, you know, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, an arms or multiple arms. I would imagine they're gonna. There's going to be a, a, a consensus of this, right? Or an IOHK of Cardano that will will be officially, you know, n knighted as the you know as the developers working on this, right? But they're not owners of it, and that's very important, and that's the way they launched it to be very specific. That's why, technically speaking, I can go on LinkedIn and they say, yeah, I have authorization to create this company, right? There is. It says right in the paper. This is no different than Bitcoin. This is like going in and, and putting Bitcoin on, on LinkedIn. You follow? So, ba yeah, so basically what I just did now, I just, I have one of the sexiest, I mean, I'm, I'm connected to pretty much anyone at second tier. The, the, the LinkedIn two tier is magic, right? If you are a number two on LinkedIn, right, you can send an invite to them. So I can send a little blurb, like a tweet to pretty much anyone who is, you know, on, on it. So what I just did now is I've just sent this out, right, to um, my 5,000 plus network. So everyone on the network now, you know, um, uh, they're going to, they're, they're going to hear about the buzz of BitClout. They're going to see I'm a growth hacker. They're going to now come to the pro, you know, come to the, you know, um, check out the, the page, right? Um, I'm going to make a post now, like join the group. Did you guys join? Oh, let me just do that real quick. So under here, let me just go down here to groups. So, so we're not. So the cool thing is, is here. Look, BitClout right here. Here's the group. I'm gonna post it on, on here. Make you all admins. Copy anyone that joins. All right. So here you go. Here you go. Right here. So join this right now. And here's the cool thing. You can post. Here's I am. You know, BitCloud's here. Post your link so I can buy your token. Right? Undow do me. Right? So, so. Um, you know, on this, under this tag here, you can post your link here. This is, you know, just so you, you know, this is my work from 2011. I worked with the founders of Ethereum, right? This is the blockchain. You know, no, uh, Vitalik could never explain the inspiration of the blockchain. Why? Because he didn't inspire it. He coded it. He's the dressmaker. He architected it. So, so, um, that's all. That's what Vitalik, but he led to everything. So what, so, go ahead.
you guys are feeling about uh, the update that happened today and uh, what kind of conversation has been happening on that regard. I am ruthlessly selfish about this. I love how clunky it is. I, um, I wish there was more transparency on what's going on now, but I actually don't want uh, Diamond Hands to be transparent about the future. I think when the, the site goes down and people spread FUD, um, that just makes my bags go up. So, you know, it's, know. It's, it's, I, it's, buying, it's buying the dip. I mean, I think the simplest equation right now is not the bonding curve on a particular user, but the bonding curve on all users, right? And I was talking Ow. earlier in the chat room about about a book. You know, I'm 35 now and probably probably 20, 20, 20 years ago or 22, three years ago, there was a book called Long Tail. And so, I mean, that's kind of what I feel like we're experiencing. So, like, I'm worried about user growth compounding. And so, so selfishly, the longer the crypto people take to do it, um, I'm not really worried about them because what I know is that my political audience is about to join. What I know is, like, some of these DJs and NFT folks, their patrons are about to join. So, like, if part of the crypto space wants to sit out because they're jealous – or because they don't like that growth hacking happened, or they want to like debate securities laws, like they're a member of the SEC, have edit, sit out, let me get in, and uh, the masses will follow. And if the masses follow with these kind of low dollar things, then they're they, they're actually going to make these creator coins stable. So I'm I I really actually like all the clunkiness, and I'm taking advantage of it. But I'm also trying to help people, so I'm balancing it out with some social good. Ali, Ali. Uh, is there anyone? Is there anyone here? When I got up, I'm in Japan, right? So when I went to bed, it was down. Okay, so when I got up, it was still down, and I was like, you know what? I wonder if that, you know, three thousand Bitcoin is. And I was going to the wallet to see if the Bitcoin was still there. I was like, man, did we just get ripped, right? And then uh, I was, I was seriously writing a post, and I was linking it, saying, are we getting scammed here? And then it was up, and I was like, oh great, nah. delete, delete, delete. Yeah. And I was like, but how many? How many of you were actually afraid that maybe we were you were having? Zero percent. I was yeah, at zero percent. I was at zero percent. I closed it down just in case, like the lawsuit. But actually, to Ali's point, um, I think it actually did help, kind of increase even more, kind of the uh, the buying opportunities. Like my coin went up last night. It's at three point six k now, and I started it like last night during a call. I mean, the interest in it is crazy. I'm still like a bit on the fence, so I appreciate calls like this, but. Man, the growth on this is crazy, the, crazy, crazy. The hottest hour. coin right now is Undowdo, and you can get it super cheap. I just joined, like, last night. As you guys know, I knew nothing. Learn from Ali, learn from Four, learn from you guys. And uh, I'm, this is my first day on the platform. Yeah, and I think, like, there's some simple – I said something um, last night. It's all blurring. <laughs> you know, we've been doing this now for, like, over 48 hours straight. And um, – but, like – um, I said something yesterday, uh, and I said, you know, if, if this was a pure scam, right, then they would have worked um, a transaction fee to their wallet for every transaction. That would have been something that would have been seen as socially acceptable. And But they didn't, right, because they, they are purposely trying to be a utility token instead of a security. So I see that, and I see sophistication. And then someone came back and said, I think it was actually Ted who just uh, entered the room. What's up? Our resident explorer nerd, and he has helped us a lot uh, there at the bottom. Follow him, but he um, he said, "Well, Ali, that could actually just be the UX." And so in my head, I put that new da- that new data in, and I said, "Okay, well, if it's a short term scam, they're going to do what I said. If it's a long term scam or it's viable, they're going to do what he said." And so that's why I was pretty confident that all funds were in fact safe because if they were trying to pull a scam that was five weeks private, one day public. Then they would have seen they would have they would have programmed in the maximum opportunities to steal Bitcoin, and what I see is a site that's not doing that. That's you know it's like mapping out a criminal mind, and I, I don't see a criminal mind behind I, this. Support so planning, I agree. but also maybe by design, as other people have pointed out. That's a cool point, man. I appreciate that. Um, that's really dope. Thank you. Hey, at a high level, can somebody give the noobs in the room the, the long term value proposition of it all? You know, most of us are relatively new. So, so all right, I'll take that if you want. Go for it. All right, so I, I'm using the phrase actually on LinkedIn, which I took from my startup 
right? Which is, is I think, is very, uh, uh, very pertinent. Imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin. In essence, we didn't have this. When we all grind and try, got up our Twitter account, or we all grind and got up our LinkedIn account, or we all grind, you know, we've all, we've all been there. We've all growth hacked all these social media. And, I, and I'm old. I'm, I'm in my 50s. I was a gamer, right? And I'm done fucking. This is the first time I have growth hacked since pretty much LinkedIn and Facebook, right? I do not do that. And this is the first time I'm going back to, you know, back in the day when Facebook just launched the LinkedIn. So the opportunity right now, the value proposition is, is, is this, and, and I'm sharing what I'm doing because I consider myself an SME expert on this because I spent my whole life doing it, right, is building your network early and ultimately driving eyeballs to you. Right. So it doesn't matter. What makes this beautiful is, is, you know, I have a a hundred people that follow me on fucking Twitter because I never spent any time. I said, fuck Twitter. Right. My LinkedIn is connected to Twitter and I just use it as a fucking garbage can to just push everything out of LinkedIn onto my Twitter. Right. I have over 50,000 tweets on LinkedIn. Right. I don't care about the network. Why? Because there was no value to it. All of a sudden there's value to me building this as some of the guys have already done and they have experienced incredible growth. So I'm, you know, so that's the value proposition is you have something here that has a measurable value that if you believe in Bitcoin, if you believe in the blockchain, then it's a natural thing for you to believe in this because it, like, like Ali said very well, that this is being structured in a very legit way. They could have taken money. They could have fed themselves, and they're not. They've kept the allocation very small. They brought in the key players to legitimize who they are. They're basically dotting the I's and crossing the T's. So they're launching this as, in a way, the perf- the perfect Bitcoin. Uh, yo, you guys, I got to run for a little bit. I got to jump on a call, but I really appreciate the space. Billy the Kid. Yo, yeah, check out Billy the Kid. I'll definitely, I'm going to be super active on BitCloud, so if anyone wants to connect on there, let's definitely talk and, uh, you know, follow all the moderators. You guys are doing good work um, holding holding space and continuing the conversation. So, appreciate you guys. I'll be back on later. Um, Thanks, Will. Yes, yes sir. Same thing there. Get your fun there, man. Fuck yeah, yo, fuck yeah. I'll talk to you on the app. Peace out. Y'all have fun. Later, Will. Hey, yo, everybody, this is God Cloud up at the, uh, I mean, down at the bottom, I guess. Not up at the bottom, that's making sense. What is going on, everybody? Cosmo, I see you up there. How's everybody doing tonight? What up, Cosmo? What's hey. up, bro? It's good to see you. Super up? psyched, man. Let's, uh, let's get down to the nitty gritty. How we doing today, God? I am doing good. I had a long day today. I posted a million rooms. I just, uh, Made another finger drum drum solo video, so that's up. But I don't want to talk about that. But check it out, y'all. Um, I I'm new on BitCloud, and I'm representing like a super small niche of the musician community. I'm a finger drummer, and, and we we basically you know emulate or you know imitate a live drummer, but on a four by four uh, pad gridded drum machine and all that stuff. And I'm trying to tell my people to get on this 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 platform you know what i mean trying to tell them like yo it's cool it's worth it like can y'all give me some you know some ammo so when the next time i have a conversation with them about this what can i tell them that are the perks and like what's the you know what's awesome about it i can get this small niche community on that so we can you know get ourselves established and like take it over more or less first uh, a question for you um did you know your current referral is at 100 <laughs> On that? That? Your current referral on there is 100, meaning when people buy your coins, they get zero and you get all. Um, no, I didn't. I don't even I okay. know. I didn't know that. <laughs> so you can set that in your profile, yeah. and it makes it tricky for people to buy your coin if they're not going to get anything for it. If people want to send you coin, they can. That would be 100. Beep. So just go in your profile, check the settings, and you can move it anywhere from zero to 100. Right now, it shows uh, from what I saw was a hundred. So uh, no one's gonna buy your coin. You know? So Just I, play around with it. That, I reckon I went to twenty because I believe in the eighty twenty rule. Right? I'm here working my ass off. I think ten is too little. Any thoughts on that? What, what's the magic number? I'd love to know. I mean, I put mine on one, so <laughs> it's up to the individual, man. I, but that's not even actual. Though. It depends on your um, your content and your value to people. So the uh, 
at first you can uh, keep it low so people can buy into it. You can raise it over time if you do have value to other people. But it's really it's everyone's um, everyone's own opinion on what they want to do and where they think they're going to go with it. Clem, where are you able to see uh, the the founder fee on the profile? Well, I just went to go in to buy his coin. I just check everyone to see where people are at mindset wise, especially uh, our leaders. Are you? I went to buy his coin. Yeah, so I went to simply buy his coin. It said, "You will get zero coin. You will get get zero coin." coin. So I was, you know, investing. I thought I haven't had such a notification. I I, I purchased coins in God Cloud. Okay, so it's, it's different user by user. Right. So to explain it, when you click the buy button and you start typing in some USD money, I just typed in 20 on God Cloud. Okay. And it says, you receive zero. And then at the bottom, it says he will receive 0.6826 of his own coin. So that's 100%. That's how he tallied that up. So you have to look at the, there's four lines below. And you have to look at the second line. That's how much you're getting. And then the fourth line. That's how much the other person is getting. If there is no fourth line, then they're not getting anything. Or hey, can you tell me how I fix? How do I fix that? Can you, can you go to your profile, click profile, yeah. and yep. then click uh, update profile. Okay. And then you'll see like your fourth option is your founder uh-huh. reward. Uh-huh. And if you make that one okay. percent, a bunch of people are going to buy you right now on this call. All right, yo, so, exactly. so, so you, put in that one percent right now. Yo, I have, okay, so, wait, 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 wait. Uh, no. Do you like five? Do you like five? Yeah. Like so you think so? Okay. Twenty is too. So uh, twenty is too high. Be, between right. five and ten, ten. To be I'm fair. so cheap People right now. Quick math in their head of how much you know you're gonna get. And if you're a good content creator, people will will buy into your coin. Don't you That's don't you all. think? Yeah, okay. Yeah. I, I put it to five. I put it don't, to five. I, I have no you, idea. Don't you, I, I, don't you yeah. think that when it's What's cheap, it should be? God, God Cloud Team. God so Cloud Team. Yeah. The, premise behind, the premise behind the founder's reward is basically this. You know, it, it establishes a continued incentive and resources for you, the founder, to improve the value of your coin. And um, you compare it to the, you know, my favorite cryptocurrency project, Zcash. They had a founder's reward for the first two years. Where 10% of the monetary base went to a fund called the Founders Reward, and that was to put back into their team and back into their project. I thought it was cool. Um, a lot of people didn't think it's cool because they look at it almost as, you know, stealing or taking. So, what we've been doing and, and recommending to go around the Founders Reward is make sure you're the first one to buy your own coin, and then you can kind of work around that whole founder's reward dilemma if you don't want people to think that you're taking a cut from them buying your coin because some people might get a little mad at that me personally i don't care you know because if i'm investing in you i think you're awesome and i think you deserve that but if you start going above 10 percent you know 20 30 percent it might cause people to be a little hesitant to buy your coin yeah, and God Cloud just saying, so you know, you know, a handful, handful of people just invested in you, so you will get five percent of each of it invested into yourself, not just as a Cloud coin itself. So you will have more investment in your own name. Hey, yeah, I'm happy to announce I was like ten dollars when I logged in this morning or less, right? I'm up to two hundred and thirty-four. So my thinking on the whole thing is as your valley goes up, you lower your percentage. So early on, I'm going with 20 with the idea that, you know, if once I hit like 1,000, I drink, I bring it down to 15. When I hit 2,000, you know, keep bringing it down. So as the cost of the coin goes up, so, cause you, so the whole idea is, you know, you need more, you know, more access to funds to do more stuff as early on in a startup, right? As you grow, yeah. you need less. Any thoughts on that? Here's my thought on it: is that if everyone looks for uh, if everyone looks for a pattern on that, then they assume that there's only an X and a Y axis. I believe that you're dealing like with four quadrants, or you're dealing with a Z axis. So what I'm actually calculating in my head is because I've done the opposite. So I've enjoyed some 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 success, uh. and people like my content. We were sitting here in this chat room. 
And then, like, I said some smart things, and then Michael, who's not in the chat room right now, was like, buy an Ollie Alexander uh, token. So then, like, I had, like, eight or nine commitments. And so then what's, you know, crazy timing, the site comes up within 20 minutes. So then the site comes up. Everyone's buying my token. I let, like, the first five people get in at my normal 11%, and then after that, I raise it to 15 because I'm actually encouraging scarcity. And so, like, I think for some people, it just, it's going to be different. I've seen some people, like, I bought Charlie's token because he went to 1% or 0. And so, like, I'm all about that. I'm, I'm being selfish. And then there's some people who I think, like, um, who are, you know, are going to go the opposite direction. So the way I'm, the way I'm calculating it, and I can't, uh, I can't stress it enough, is, like, how much are you going to engage on other, like, you have the LinkedIn group. So you might actually be like this guerrilla influencer in two weeks, okay? And, like, we have this clubhouse, so everyone's about Raj, everyone's yep. about Thor, everyone's, you know, feeling Cosmo and, and some of these people who are in these clubhouse rooms. So if you know that there's going to be natural demand where people are making a, a buy off an emotional signal and they're going to buy it so long as the reward is, you know, basically under 25%, then some people will be able to get away with a lot. So I'm just being transparent, like me, I'm seeing, like, what can I get away with? And then also, I've sold some of my tokens um, in the past hour, and I've, and I've stated that, and then I've invested in other creators that were smaller. So I always – Explain. I, I was trying to – Ali, explain the selling of tokens because actually I don't – I haven't done that. I don't understand that quite. Could you kind of go into that for us noobs? Yeah, if you go to Wallet, you'll yeah. see all of your holdings. And okay. these are your, you'll see your bit, your bit clout, right? Which this is the global currency. Yeah. And this, or I should say, this is the site wide currency. And then you'll see everyone you're holding. So what I did is I sold like 0.4 of myself and I made out at a mad profit and I immediately invested because I was like, okay, I need to be yeah. liquid right now because they're dropping handles in this clubhouse room. And what I want to know, the only question I'm asking is like, are you updating your profile or not? And so, if you're not, if, if, if you're if you're a popular person who has an offline audience, I just want to know: Are you going to share it off offline, or are you going to post so that the global feed sees you? If you're not going to do either one, then I actually don't want to even waste my time um, uh, uh, watching like a hawk for other with other speculators. What I want to do is I'm like using that Z access uh, access to say, okay, well, are you posting or are you not posting? So like. So, like, right now, like, I love your energy. Your LinkedIn group is going to be a good onboarding group. But until it proves that, I as, an, I, as a person investing in people, wouldn't say that you're worth, you know, no offense, uh, the 20% founder reward because I know that I can get a greater return, and that's what this is all about, right, uh, off someone else who is posting more frequently with a lower but here, founder all right, reward. Can I, can I take a can – I, can, I, can I swing back? Yeah. How is that posting working for you because everything got wiped yesterday? I've over doubled. I've, I've, I've I don't. I don't. Triple. The thing is, I don't think it's the like posting. Maybe. You know, my my thing is like I if I post a lot of con, con, comment, right? I have you know over ten thousand videos on YouTube. I've got you know I got crazy amount of it's posting. It's a bit cloud. Bit cloud. Yeah, I bit think cloud. it's definitely the posting, Ali. I think that's a great point that you bring up. You know, this is. Really oh, so my, my thinking is right now, right, so so this is, I'll just tell you my, kind of my strategy and how I look at it, is I, I have, I think the right now what, you know, I want to communicate um, who am I, right, so on my uh, profile, I put two posts, right, the first post was like a welcome, here's, and I'm streaming, if you want to know what I'm doing, I'm right here, I'm being completely transparent, right, that's the first one. If you want to talk to me, you can pop into my Discord and just tr drop into my chat room that I'm live on. Number two is credibility, right? A link of, of um, you know, who am I? Who is this fucking undowed dude? And so I put a picture of me with Vitalik back at DevCon 2, right? And kind of making a little stab at him in the post, okay? Um, so for me, that's enough. For folks that if, you know, here's a guy who's been in the scene since its very beginning, right, and uh, playing in this field, right, 
uh, very, you know, passionately. So yeah. So what I would say, what I would say, and, and what I would say is the market will, the market will tell you if my opinion is valid or if your opinion is valid. Correct. And, and, Correct. And, and then, and then secondly, what I would say is that, you know, you're a growth hacker. So you're aware that these posts have half lives, right? So what every, I mean, you know, like I, I'm sure flash your mic if you're constantly refresh, refreshing the global feed. All right. So, so you can see what's happening there is like, that's what's happening. So if I know people are doing that, if I know that the primary market is people at zero dollars or under twenty dollars, and I know the secondary market is people who are appearing in the global feed. I want to be in the in the global feed because I'm not as good of a trader as Nick. You know, Nick's. I'm not going to like talk about his returns, but his returns have been amazing, and mine have been less, but mine have been pretty damn good. And so I'm trying to create value and liquidity for myself. So that's why I have a higher than ten percent founder reward, and then I'm reinvesting that in people who I know are going to be thought leaders in the bit cloud space. And then I'll play in that and kind of like act as a kingmaker. That's that's my strategy. There's really two if you think about it. I mean, like any financial market, you have a lot of different people who are going to be in and building and investing. You've got value investors. You've got day traders. You've got penny stock hustlers, right? You have all sorts of people. So if you think about people that are in essentially just trying to get gains early on, obviously the um, – the, the smaller the founders reward, uh, they're going to be able to spread their gains much, much larger. And that's what uh, a lot of the folks that have had fairly significant gains, at least percentage wise, have been able to do. If you are a creator, you want to think about what is my brand and what am I actually trying to do? And you want to pay a little bit less attention to the folks that might be coming in and, and, and trading in and out on you and, and worrying about your short term value because ultimately your long term value is tied to who you are and what you're doing. Uh, are people interested in what you're creating, right? That's why some of the uh, traditional or legacy celebrities' uh, coin values are so high. Um, so if you pander to um, kind of the quick hit uh, folks, you're going to end up, I think, losing money and also ending up as a commodity, as a brand. But instead, if you think more like Warren Buffett, both from an investing standpoint as well as uh, introducing yourself and, and growing your presence as a creator, I think the latter depending on where you are in your career, whether you're an NFT artist or a musician or, uh, you know, a, 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 a pundit or whatever it may be, um, the value is, in, in your value and what you're able to get out of the platform, ultimately will uh, grow uh, at a fairly significant level when people are coming and seeing what you're doing. So um, I think you focus less on the short term and less that's really what you want to do. How do you, you can get a, a different accounts. You can tr- Grade low, uh, and, and there are plenty of people who are doing that. But as a creator, I think you want to focus on um, slow and steady wins the race. I 100. Real quick, how do you freaking do a post on here? Where is the which is the button? Go to the home page, and you'll see it at the top. If you're on a desktop or an iPad, the home if you're page? on your phone, it's just yeah. Oh, click okay. home. I, wow, that was like I was like sitting here going, "Where the fuck is it?" <laughs> Hey, yo, this is God Cloud again. Um, I'm sorry to keep bugging you guys. I'm just trying to, like, understand. We want, we want the questions, brother. Bring it. Oh, okay. all your bugs, bro. <laughs> cool. Oh, you can want my bugs. It's so weird. Um, so, I I didn't know what I was doing when I first got the thing, and I bought a bunch of my own coin. So Good. Okay, so nice. now, now my coin is, is up now, so what do I, can I sell it, or? What then happened? Oh, what? Whoa, whoa, nah, whoa, whoa, you whoa. pumped yourself. You should go pump other people now. No, no, I'm saying, like, do I sell it to get the, the money, or do I have this money If you now, were to or? sell it now, you would just be retrieving the money that you just locked into your own contract, so you'd be selling it for the same exact amount. So you want to wait until, you know, other people buy you. Maybe it's a day from now, maybe it's years from now. That's up to you. Uh, but right. you, know, you don't want to do that really immediately because you're just retrieving that value that you put in. On you the same note, if other people have bought you, if, if on the same note, if other people have already bought you, that has increased your value. As an example, I sold, I bought, I used all of the free money they gave me to buy all of, uh, to buy all on me. And then other people, and then I started posting two days ago, yesterday, two days ago, I can't remember. Um, uh, and then uh, I started posting. Other people started buying me. 
my value shot up to fifty uh, to fifty dollars uh, per coin. So I sold like 0.4 of uh, of my own coin to get more uh, of their token, so that I could start uh, pumping other people. And now I've now other people have obviously taken profits on me too because uh, my coin is down to 47 instead of uh, instead of 50. But hey, it's a game, right? Yeah, okay. we want volatility. Volatility produces liquidity, and you want to use yourself as a instrument to be to be liquid. So never sell your entire self. But don't be afraid to like signal to your investors like if you're weak, get off me now, you know. And um, so yeah, that's my approach. Okay. Well, probably the best, the best advice too is if you're if you're a uh, you know I'm someone who's been fortunate enough to be in the creative space and professional space and finance and law and business. But you know if, if you are a creator um, of any kind, uh, pair up with someone who really understands markets that understands things like EPS that understands how they work and and just even if it's a buddy uh and they're going to be able to help you understand what people are doing what's happening in terms of how your value changes and where people are making investments and where you might want to take a little bit out for yourself and how to distribute it otherwise and i think if you bifurcate those functions uh you're going to really enjoy your life as a creative person you know focusing on what you do best and you can certainly uh certainly learn this but um you're going to have someone who's a little bit more of an expert, uh, particularly in understanding the long term, uh, the long terms, and they have fun with it. Obviously, there's rooms like this. There's going to be more and more content generated, but uh, you know, so it, it, it'll drive you bananas. Hey, man. Yeah. Hey. So, uh, yeah. So you had fun playing your dumb game. I'm not playing the game. <laughs> I'm just razzing you, man. You got your ear. You're like, I get your video on Twitch, and I'm seeing your fucking shit on the side of your face. <laughs> what are you talking about? Say hi about? to everyone. They got uh, I can't. people in here. Look at this. This is uh, me. This is uh, this is one of the me. Uh, a great brother, man. He's like my brother. He's like my great brother. He is. He is. When it comes to like marketing and everything, this guy is unbelievable. We launched uh, the. Um, um, Super Bowl magazine in Tampa. I invested in this company. Um, lost money because Bitcoin went up, but that's cool. I still love him. Um, and uh, but it's not about that. It's about the relationship. He's he's. I consider him my brother. So um, he does no clue what is going on right now and how crazy this is. So yeah, I'm just getting introduced to it right now. I'm trying. To, I was listening to. Uh, I think you guys were. Somebody was talking. I didn't hear your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So basically, get... there's something called Clubhouse. I'm in a group in Clubhouse, and when I'm when I just put the mic down and they let them talk. So Clubhouse is a really cool thing that I just discovered. And uh, right now, I am um, setting up the collaterals, doing posts. So imagine if you could build. A Twitter, um, you know, a Twitter, and actually monetize it. And you know, remember the whole the whole framework that I'm that I was launching. Tokenize anything. This is tokenize yourself. So what they're doing is I was looking at just doing you know this and everything else. They they have focused on just one aspect. So in this new paradigm, why is this not freaking loading? Um. And to give you an idea, when I added my brand new spanking new profile on this, but it was worth nothing because it's brand new, right? And my profile okay. now is up to. If you look on, are you on? Um, hold on, let me go to. I'm on BitCloud. Yeah, so you look at my. I'm on right. Twitch. Are you signing up or what are you doing? Well, I'm on, I'm on Twitch right now. Looking, it says join BitCloud okay, LinkedIn so group. Here's my profile. Let's see, open new tab. I'm trying to up. I don't know why this image isn't fucking showing. A lot of tabs open. I do. All right. All right. It's cool. That will work. So what I'm doing here is I'm posting join BitCloud LinkedIn. I don't know if there's going to be hashtags. Well, I want to put LinkedIn hashtag right, and I'm posting that. So I've set up. So 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 basically, what I was crazy earlier talking to you is I set up all the collaterals right. I set up the. So I want you to go onto your LinkedIn profile. And the first thing you're yep. going to do is add BitClout to your profile. Okay? Mm -hmm. 
So you simply are going, um, the other thing I want you to do is, uh, here is actually, I'm going to, um, where is it? I'm going to actually link it. Let's see, visible. Um, uh, membership requests. What the hell is this? Something I do here is like, this is kind of a, uh, let's see, approve, Let me refresh this. All right, request, there's already another guy. I don't know why this guy is not, I don't know why this guy isn't approving. Error processing. I guess he's been kicked out or something. Fucking deny us, right? Boom. <laughs> I can approve him, so I just denied him. So we have, um, our group right so this is the group on uh, if you look I've got the link there I want to here I want to put all the assets on here this is my LinkedIn profile so anyone who's on Twitch wants to link up with me and get access to the sexiest that's undoubt due on LinkedIn um, this here is the group where's the company all right that's the all right um, and uh, what I want is if I type in here BitClout, hold on. So here's, that's a group. Where the hell? Boom. Companies. Why can't I find BitClout? All right. So if you go to your profile, right, and to find, you, it, when you set up your profile, okay. So experience, growth hacker, BitClout, right? Mm. On there, put your Tampa Bay, Florida, right? You can do T Tampa Bay, Florida. Give me one second. I'm, I'm just um, re I'm signing up to this computer. I'm signing up to Lincoln. I'm just going through it right now. I forgot my... Right. Um, oh, shit. Hold on. Take me just one second. I just got the email. Okay, why don't you put me in? New password. So you can look at my description. I got, I'm, I didn't even finish setting up my thing because I was having issues setting it up. So, um, and then I'm putting the, the LinkedIn to on here. Okay. So okay. everyone who put on your description, you should put the LinkedIn group and you should put your profile, right? I just made it to, I just made it in and I am here. Welcome James. What? This is weird. All right. And then, um, hold on, I want to link. I wonder if I can, this is kind of weird. It won't let me link the BitClout white paper, which I, you know what I'm going to do? Fuck them. What I'm going to do is take a screenshot of this, right? Um, yeah. For some reason, LinkedIn doesn't like the the link here, so I'm going to take a screenshot. Screenshot. Um, go to Bitly. Go here. File. I mean, new. Um, don't save. And then I'm going to just grab this here. Right. And then yeah. on here, I'm going to crop this, 
and I already created the white. Uh, I already created the bitly for the white paper, right? You know what a bitly is, right? No. Um. Actually, no. This is join. Actually, let's join. This is a join. So let me save this. Copy that. Oops. All right. Let me uh, copy that. So I created the. Um, well, edit. Okay. Join. Okay. And then I'm creating bitlies here. So the bitly to join, because you can't just join, right? You need to have a special link. So this is the, I'm going to post that in Twitch. So there's your join bit clout, right? It's a bitly. It, it redirects because that link is ugly. And then what I want to do is on my profile that I'm, I'm doing, right? Uh, this is bitly. Join me here. Uh, I'm, I'm, all right. Um, here is the link you need to uh, actually just All right. So uh, to join. So there's the link to join um, at undoubtedly. So in my profile, what I've done here is the most important thing, I've joined BitClout, right? There's a bit.ly there, right? Because that link is ugly yep. and long on it. So I have the link in there. Yep. It's like this password it has a long coded password. So I created a bit.ly out of it. What that's good is I can track how many people have link, you know, uh, used it. I want to create yeah. another bitly here, right? I need to create a, um, so I need to go to the white paper. I need to grab this, copy that, because the white paper isn't, well, actually, you know what? I can copy that and then go to here. We don't have to do a bitly for that because it's short. And then I can put that in here. I think I signed into the wrong. What? What do you mean? No, I, I wanted to go back into Bell Publishing. I think I shot. I just signed into my um, my just regular one. Um, I did. So I gotta go do this. <clears throat> All right, because I want to get this. I want to get into the Bell Publishing one. I want to connect to that one, not my my personal. What do you, you know what I mean? What do, you, what do you mean? Or link at LinkedIn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. LinkedIn. Whatever. Yeah, whatever your whatever your main whatever your the one that you have set up. Okay. Actually, I think this is down here. Uh, it's a little darker. All right, so I put the source on there, okay? So they can look up. So what is BitClout? So grabbing right there, right? Source, file, actually. Let's grab this here. All right. Let's put this here. Let's go back to um, file. Let's go, let's go to uh, paint. I'm going to grab the logo real quick. File, open. Grab the logo. Um, where is it? is the logo. I need to name this shit. There it is. Okay. Grab that.
I, I, you know, I really hate, um, I'm gonna All right, so what I'm doing here is just creating some more collaterals. So on the LinkedIn profile, we want to have some collaterals and uh, let's see upload. I hate this. It doesn't re. It doesn't re. Um, rescale. Such a fucking pain in the ass. Well, the bottom's falling out of Ethereum. Yeah, well, it's pulling. It's like the yeah. Well, it, dude, this is normal, man. This is fucking normal. No, I know that. This is a great time to buy it, actually. But I'm not. I'm not into Ethereum. I don't know if it's a great time to buy. It could fucking go all the way down. So. It's at fifteen eighty, so it's dropped uh, almost three hundred dollars. We're down to hundred. I mean, there is some, there is some um, um, uh, calls that weren't filled. It's what they call that. Some um, orders that weren't filled, uh, futures. So usually, it uh, it tends to go down and fill those futures. Oh, uh, that's what it's doing. Well, I just think it's a good time to buy in the short term because you've got it's a a three hundred dollar drop. It's definitely going to go back up here in the next day, twenty four hours. You can pick up a couple, a couple few bucks. But um, uh, there's only a handful. Of, the whole market's dropping. It's just that's just what it does. But ironically, there's a few 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 coins that aren't dropping, and one of them happens to be. Should I say it out loud? Do you know the name of it? No, Cardano's taking a hit. It's down to one oh seven. But there's another one out there that's not affected. It actually went up today a little bit. It's called Chain Games. Yeah, it's getting Chain Games. Yeah, it's all yeah. just like yeah. Yeah. It's been a, there's another this one called, you ever heard of Wobby? Sorry. Annoying. This is fucking annoying. I'm trying to get this shit to fucking scale is just so <sighs> annoying for me. So I've listened to these guys for a little bit. So they're, I don't know who they are that's talking, but I heard them say like they purchased coins and one of the guys coin went up to 50 bucks and he bought a little bit of it back and, and reinvested. But I'm looking on the side there. Does that Justin Bieber, those celebrities that their coins are worth that amount of money. Is that what I'm looking at? Yeah. Yeah. My, I, I, so they've are, I, so I'm up I, last time I checked, let's see what I checked. So I've got 16 followers, my coins at 200 and, uh, 30 bucks, right? I started off at zero this morning. I mean, I bought. Well, how does your coin get value? Somebody physically buys it with they, cash? No, they put in this token. They put the token into it. They invest a little bit, not all of it. They just put a little bit in there. They're 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 putting it in, and um, you can set how much of your your uh, your 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 things t you're taking, right? I'm taking 20 percent. Some guys have a philosophy they should be 1%. Like like this one guy on here, Ali, that's talking a lot. He's like, oh, I'm not going to invest in you because you're kind of a nobody. I don't know who you are, and you're taking 20%, even though he's at 50. But he's a much bigger network, right? So so there's there's no the, – the market's going to play out. We both agree. It's like, listen, we, there is no – we don't know what the right answer is, which way to go, right? My attitude right now is I'm building I'm building the foundation. I'm not running out and trying to build the network. I'm building the foundation. What's the foundation? The 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 clout the bit clout group on LinkedIn, right? Um, the, you know, uh, uh, sh helping people build their um, you know their uh, their 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 site. Um, so, is the the immediate value of your coin? If, if I'm assuming this is just going through LinkedIn at this point, is the people that you have. So, if I put a coin out. Only the people, the people that I'm friends with or connected to, I should say, are have the ability to access or buy my coin if they feel like it. Just that group. 
Is that true? No, anyone can buy your coin. So, right, Where, so on LinkedIn? Like, Where can they buy it? No, LinkedIn is about pump. It's about growth hacking, right? So okay, I got it. I got it. LinkedIn is just a funnel, right? You're, we're funneling. Facebook Understood. Funnel. So where do you, where do I go to buy your you coin? You have to go set up your account. I'll, I'll, send okay. you, I'll send you some. I'll send you basically set up your account. I will send you um, some gas, right? You're gonna have to get. The, you don't have to worry about it. I'll send you some so you can update okay. and set up your account, right? And you know, okay. it maybe you want to do. You know what? Maybe you want to do. You know, um, I don't know. I, I don't know if you want to do an about publishing. I don't know. I don't know what the I could ask. Well, I'll, well, I'll look at it and absorb it and think what would best best fit whatever it is I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. I mean, let me try this. Guy. This is driving me crazy trying to get this fucking banner to to show up in a media thing. <laughs> Hold on a minute. All right, I can do this here. That's good. Okay. Look, I'm coming. All right. there yeah it's just linkedin i mean i've got to physically you can see what i'm doing i'm physically having to move this around i got the final thing here i'm trying to get this fucking image up on my profile which the good news is is um um i went over too much And they're basically what they're doing is providing a little troubleshooting for folks, right? On what, you know, like it's so new. It's a new paradigm. So people. Yeah. And let's see. Who started it? It's, a, it's like Bitcoin. It's, they don't know who did it. But they've got Sequoia Capital. They've got massive amounts of, of uh, investors. Celebrities. What they did was they issued 2 million tokens. That was it. And the founders got some and they got some, these VCs. And the VCs are giving them credibility. And what's the platform that it trades on? There isn't any. You can't. There's no trading of it right now. There's nothing. There's no. You can't take the coins off of this platform. It's all like you know. It's kind of. It's exactly what I was saying we were gonna do. It's ex That's why. Oh my I've, god. That's why I've completely pivoted, and I'm actually using my yeah. my my. I'm using my tagline. Imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin. I just removed tokenize anything and be the next bitcoin to simply tokenize themselves so i'm taking what they have developed and just pivoting it doesn't matter the tokenizing anything i'll just build on to this so and when they yeah. open source this platform dude i'm fucking stealing it and we're going to pivot it and we're going to launch the tokenize anything because i don't necessarily agree kind of how they're doing a lot of this stuff but you know what? They've built the code for us, and that to they're me doing is, the work for you. They did the work for us, like the whole thing. Mm -hmm. I've grabbed all of the images from the app, you know, from the pages. I'm going to completely rework the uh, the mashup, right? For the for the mm -hmm. app, okay? Um, um, Big Cloud. All right, so Big Cloud. All right, and I own like the trip B the next bitcoin right that's my fucking trademark <laughs> it's not theirs so that's, 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 that's you own it <laughs> i fucking own it that's my fucking trademark be the next bitcoin so you know if uh you know uh on there so be the next bitcoin i don't want to put the trademark on there people don't like that okay apply there you go there's the image be the next be the next bitcoin bit cloud so Hold on. then I want to do a link. That's I how come it's now on your Twitch. I'm let me know on Twitch. Okay, here it is. Just upload it for me. Yeah, save. Alright. So let me go back. Let's 
Osaka. No, cancel. Save. All right. So I have uh, added. Why is it not not there? Now it's working, right? Yeah. buying a bunch of ETH or something? No, hell no. I'm not buying no ETH. I, I'm just sitting here looking at it. I was waiting for it to bottom out, and I missed it. It already did. It went down to... Uh... See, you don't get... You need to not get hung up on this shit, dude. It's going to drive you crazy like that. No, no, I'm not... You know? here, no, I'm not... I'm not... I'm not looking to buy and hold ETH. I was just trying to get it at its bottom here tonight, which it already hit, 1545.77. And now it's already back up to, but listen, I was just going to buy it to drag it over to Uniswap to grab just a few more of those, um, to grab a few more of those uh, chain game. <sighs> but I just, I'm not going to waste the time or the effort because of the gas. It's just too much money to buy a little bit extra. You know what I mean? I mean, I mean if it's ridiculous. Right now. It's terrible. It's terrible. Okay, a Cardano just went back up for 107 to 110. Not touch it. And Polka Dot dropped three. This is a great time to buy Polka Dot. It dropped eleven percent. Dropped down to twenty nine dollars. Other tokens, man. I don't want to talk about any other okay. tokens okay. except for this okay. one. Right? I just want to be focused on this. So if it's not understood. Bitcoin, all right, uh, I'm just I just need to focus on this. Invitation. I get bank. it. I get it. I get it. I get it. That's cool. White paper. All right. Um and uh, that way if other people can grab. I'm trying to create the collaterals that you can grab, right, and use yeah. on there. Because that way you don't have to recreate. You can just grab the uh, copy. Right. Apply. Save. All right. Oh, shit. It is there. Ah, uh, edit. I fucking got two of them now. They were they just. Yeah, I've been up all. I don't have. I'm, I'm grumpy too, man. I, I'm fucking snapping at you. I apologize. No, I've been up all night. Relax. I haven't slept, dude. I slept. I got relax. a few hours, and I got right back on this. I was trying. To I, I I have my I I have my clown translator on my filter. Okay, cool. <laughs> You're good. All right, all right, cool. Okay, so the read the white paper. Uh, read this. That's what we want to drive people to uh, join the LinkedIn group. All right, cool. So um, going back to, all right, so what are we doing? Let me know when you set up your account, okay? So what you, all right, so you don't want to do anything on LinkedIn. I apologize. I told you to do LinkedIn. You need to go and set up your BitClout account. Okay. All right? Hold on. Because the all reason right. for that is you then want to drive people to that Bitcoin account, right? Or, you know, um, on that. So... So what I am doing right now, so let me just talk about the game, you know, what's the strategy, what we're doing, you know, with all respect, Ali and them, you know, they're, they're, what they're doing is, is, is a different strategy to what I think or what I know works. Okay. I am going to BitClout creators. I am scanning down all of them, working my way down to the very bottom. That's what I'm going to do all until I get to the bottom. I'm not investing in anyone, right? So the first, think of this, the first wave, okay? Like I'm, I'm just think of uh, BitCloud as a book, right? I'm going to basically flick through the pages, 
mm-hmm. right? And get an understanding mm-hmm. on who's on and, and, and basically following everyone that's verified. If they're verified, it means they're on the platform, which means they get a notification that I followed them, right? And they go, mm-hmm. oh, right, who is this guy? So there are literally thousands of people joining, right, right now, like, you know, uh, on here. And what you want to do is get the eyeballs of, you know, of those. This is, you know, this is crowdsourcing, get the eyeballs of those. So as you move down, you'll notice it becomes further and further apart, right? Um, and you can see that um, I've already, it's easy to close up this, this image. So I'm just using the mouse wheel and scanning down. Don't have a sipping tool? That's not me, man. Someone they hear you, you're like, that's my buddy. <laughs> don't have a sipping tool. This is what? Someone wrote, "What are you eating?" Because you always spit. You do that, Matt. That at, it's come. You're oh right. yeah. You're <laughs> on uh, Twitch, man. Okay. So they think I'm I eating and shit. On it. Uh, so, you know, I just like, breathed heavy that time, so I apologize. Apologize. Yeah. You know what we could do is your outbound. I wonder how I could sw- change your outbound mic. I can't. I wonder if I could turn you. Down. Don't worry about it. I I can get control or, or whatever you want. No, just down. You can if you down if you if we if we quiet your your outboard mic. I don't know how to uh, how to. There's a way for you to like turn your outbound down a little. Mm-hmm. So you're not mm-hmm. as in the ear, folks. But I don't care, man. If, I can, if you want to, okay. you got to deal with with brother if you're gonna be here. So look, I'm scanning and I'm not, I'm going through big wafts of people, you know, that aren't on here. Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm down to like 900. So here's a guy, Cindy. Follow Cindy. And there's also they have um you can't just follow 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 people, right? Because there's a yeah. there's a 30 second or 10 second thing right yeah so um um see i've already gone down and some of these have already refreshed from the time that the time that i went through this the first time i'm down to nine nine hundred and i'm just looking for active people i've already followed these guys i was actually down to i uh when i was on um, Angel List in 2011. This is this is kind of deja vu for me, right? I got banned off the mm-hmm. platform because I had so many eyeballs coming to me. So I know this works, right? I know following people is a way to drive eyeballs, especially early on, and that's why it's such a small window, right? That uh, here's yeah. Twitter, and you may see things like Twitter, like crypto, right? If you see like um, uh, BitClout God, I <laughs> so follow him. Like if I see yeah. like inter- as I'm going down, if I see interesting names and and um, it's weird because you'd think if that BitClout God, they would be verified. Just the guy. Here, I'm going to put this down and just listen to this guy, okay? Because, uh, and then people can yeah, yeah, of course. So I'm calling bullshit. 
this shit on it. So I, I mean, thanks, thanks, guys. On the alley, the, last question the is just, U.S. Constitution um, is so nothing like, like Bitcoin. That's why an uh, alley uh, uh, or someone uh, removed uh, me from So, so, so much money the, behind it that they could have been more clear on the vesting schedule, um, you know, sort of, to, to sort of make it more clear how people would do it or what their intentions were. It just feels a little bit... I mean, if, if, if you want, if I was just take the devil's advocate point of view, right? It could get very easily rug pull, right? Well, well, well uh, crypto, no. <laughs> and Lamont, I mean, this is a build out of something new. Whenever I talk to cyber people, I talk to them. It's like this is very new. The whole point of it was to make it password protected, keep it very limited, you know, keep, keep it sort of like to just the early adopters, almost like beta testers of this platform. And so. I don't know if their intention was to never make it this big so fast. I don't know if that was it, or, or if it was just part of the game. But uh, there's a lot of funny things that are going on with BitCloud and that I can't figure out why they're doing what they're doing, but I also couldn't figure out how, they, how to create a system so genius like this. You know, I'm doing other things, but this is wonderful. So, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm operating on faith. I've had more, so much fun in this last week week and a half, whatever, since I first got introduced to it. So I'm just bringing a positive, optimist attitude towards this and only engaging in the platform as much as I feel safe to that I'm willing to lose all of this and still be like, it was worth it. So that's the, that's the level that I'm in at it. I don't see this as Dogecoin or Ethereum or Bitcoin where I'm just like trading these currencies or trading these, uh, you know, these cryptos just to like you know, make more U.S. dollars or make more crypto. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm, I'm doing this to to really support a new economy and a new economy that's empowering the, the creatives, the entrepreneurs, the way showers, um, and the ones that are, you know, reimagining the new world. So that's why I'm in it. And uh, and thank you for all your questions. Um, and just, just as you're exiting, you know, um, you know, I just want to make it – Evan, Evan was sharing, like, oh, let's introduce people, and he was showing that. So, you know, Lamont, you know, the dad, entrepreneur, neuroscientist, lecturer, advisor, investor, student, and a new, it's part of the New Parents Club. So I can see, Lamont, how you had so much to share and so many different roles and hats that you play in the world. So thank you for doing all that you're doing, and thanks for all the contribution to the stage. So we, next we got uh, Estevan and uh, Estevan Serrano on Bitcoin. Should we skip Nick? He's, oh, did I skip Nick? No, Nick was first. No, I'm good. Oh, my. Okay. Thanks um, for the intro, Raj. Yeah, so he's a ref- recovering perfectionist, a dog dad, and tiny living. All right. Um, Estevan, you're up. Thanks, Raj. Hey, so I, I appreciate all the conversation around um, how BitCloud is going to be amazing for creators. Um, how do you guys envision it being helpful for people who are organizers and uh, that like bring circles together, or um, you know, even activism? Do you guys have any thoughts there? Well, what what is a creator to you? I guess when I used the word creator there, I was thinking about digital artists, uh, musicians, that type. Did it go down? I mean, I'm not a digital artist or a musician did on hey, did it go any down? media platforms, but I make posts, and that's kind of like a form of my art. And I post conversations, and that's a form of my art. And my coins, you know, whatever, nearly two thousand dollars. So um, I don't really see this as uh, I think that what we're calling creators um, th- th- this is also reimagining what creator means and we're in a new world and <laughs> so, uh, so I'm going to turn this down I just want to respond to that you know what really uh, annoys me is folks who are just after like like the gentleman just said and I'm just going to be a, you know kind of like just throw it in your face if you're on this if this is your motivation to get your coin up and in value and this is some sort of justification right look i've 
you know, I've, uh, I, I, I have self-worth because I have value in my token. Um, then, um, I think, uh, and I think Ali actually alluded on this. You have to be focused on what you're providing to the community, right? And um, I believe, right? My purpose and my reason for driving eyeballs to me, right, to undow do, is for ushering in this fifth age, is for bringing about the why of the blockchain. It's the why of the blockchain that I had shared with the founders of Ethereum back in 2011 and 12, when I accidentally discovered that our entire business model is endemically flawed, which means inherently flawed, and that every crisis facing our planet can be traced to that business model. So think about that. Every crisis facing our planet can be traced to our 15th century Italian business model that, that, um, that drives our unsustainable capitalistic model, right? Which, right? And what I realized back then, the only way to fix it is by creating a new sandbox. This is the new sandbox. So in the old world, in the fourth age, you couldn't, you know, you couldn't all of a sudden have value, right? You were a servant, you were a slave, you were an indentured servant of the system indebted in, you know, in, um, in debt, uh, in financial debt. And all of a sudden here, is it up? Is it going to work? Okay, it worked. Um, I'm going to take a break and kind of go really far down. Um, all of a sudden now, there's a platform here that you can spend your energy, and that energy is translated into, these, this, into this dollar, see, into this here. I don't like the fact of this equivalent dollar value, right, personally, because what happens is you get individuals like the person where they start um, putting their self-worth based on, there's like Pizza Hut, I can follow Pizza Hut, <laughs> I don't think Pizza Hut would be on there, it's kind of stupid following Pizza Hut, actually why the fuck am I following Pizza Hut, Politico, unfollow, Pizza Hut, unfollow, right, they're not going to be on here. The, the point here is to follow people who are on here, who ultimately, um, Dropbox, I will follow. Um, the other thing that you want to follow here is all, um, is um, all the different um, ICOs and tokens and everything else. Like, I'm going to follow everything on the Bitcoin, on the, on the thing. So my first, my first flip through the book, this is a book, right? is I'm just going down all the pages and I'm looking for these little marks, right? Crypto, Cronite. And then when I get to the bottom, I'm gonna work my way back up and invest in the bottom guys first, right? Fuck the top guys. Fuck the guys that are 2,000, 3,000, 4,000. I want to help the little guys. So I'm going to invest in all the little guys so this is my strategy, and get their eyeballs because they're the hungry. We're the minnows. I'm a minnow right now. Look, my value is, is not. I'm not even down to my value yet. Okay, that's all that Ted claps. So um, you know, so I'm getting down to my fellow minnows. So and I want to help my fellow minnows. It's not about me driving my value up. It's about me helping them. And by bringing their eyeballs to me and what I'm doing, right, they can uh, ultimately learn what is the why of the blockchain. So we need to change the way our business model works. And we can do that now with the blockchain. No one's doing it yet, right? But we can have a new way of token uh, validation. Uh, the valuation of a token can be measured in intangible benefit to the planet, the living systems, and in sharing with others. I call this valuation model compounded annual benefit rate. What is the benefit that widget that you are doing, you yourself? Imagine AI measuring you as a token, right? And what we're going to do, and this is, you know, I think the reason why they kicked me out of the you know, out of the mod because I, you know, is, is, is I said, I'm going to take the open source software. I'm going to fork the shit out of it and I'm going to fix it. They just built the open tokenization framework 
that I had set out to build and what I can do is fix it. And, 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 and instead of having this value, this dollar amount, it has, um, it has your benefit level, right? This is a benefit value that then translates into a dollar value that you can trade. So, you know, you're, again, you're dealing with Sequoia Capital. You're dealing with these VCs. They care only about what? Money. They don't give a shit that that the externalities of their business model is causing climate change. The externalities of the cost of doing business is what externality. The externalities of their business model is basically polluting, is destroying 60% of all, of all life on the planet is going to be gone in the next 30 years. 60%. We ourselves are, you know, we are the Ourobora. We are the head of the dragon that's consuming the body, our planet, and we are at our fifth and final age. If we do not fix this shit, people, we are fucked, right? And my purpose, my role here on the blockchain is to be the storyteller just to tell you how it is, right? And ultimately inspire and bring about these apps that then can be tweaked and modified for us to have a new framework. One that rewards and returns benefit to the planet. So what would that look like? Well, if you, you know, I talk about un, thou, do. We're in the un stage of the fifth age. The undoing of capitalism, the undoing of of centralization, the undoing of fiat, the un, this is the un stage. In the next five years, we're going to transition into the Dow stage. And the Dow, no one's talking about the Dow anymore. In 2016, it was all the rage. You know, when the Dow was launched, like, oh, all the rage. Aragon has kind of gone by the wayside. You know, Aragon was trying to bite off too much of their chew, of their chew to chew, and I won't go into that right now. But the second stage is the Dow. DAOs, decentralized autonomous organizations, and there's two kinds. There's the, there's the selfish or the more selfless version, which is the DAO, which is basically on the, the, the driven by the community. And then there's the selfless DAO, which is the DANO, decentralized autonomous nonprofit. So one of them invests up to 80% of their net profit back into the system or benefiting others. The other one invests 100% that's the nonprofit, into uh, CABR, into launching more Danos. It's an exponential growth function, right, that once implemented is going to replace what? The corporation. It's going to replace Wall Street. It's going to basically the idea of a, of a billionaires and even million, well, maybe not millionaires, but billionaires is an obesity, is a sickness, and that sickness is going to be is, is going to be basically made redundant because in the in the in the in the future system imagine if facebook amazon google imagine if they were danos and just like on this platform and like on the other this decentralized thing as the community we decide right um who we are um following who we are supporting right and and where would these net profits go back to so what would this what would you know so imagine your token now becomes a ubi imagine this is your this is a ubi right universal basic income this is what this is right this value next to you is a ubi for you in the future to spend it any way you like to retire hopefully and you know um it's the game of 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 here. Imagine all of a sudden these these Danos saying, you know what, everyone, you know, uh, free education, AI driven autonomous learning, a project I started in 2004 called Eduit. The e singularity is the moment everyone can get an eighth grade equivalent education autonomously. We should have that by now. We have the AI to deliver that, we have the open education sources for it, and yet. And I've been talking about it since 2004, and yet it's still not there. So, you know, because there's no money, because of an, an, uh, an open education framework built on AI that's free to anyone, what happens to the global education complexes? 
what happens so so all of these these all these industrial complexes from education to finance and everything they're all driving the blockchain and and it's basically going to turn around and eat them and that's why i'm laughing and that's why on the back of my t-shirts right um i have unstoppable because the bottom line is is this new paradigm the fifth age prophesized by undowed do 5250 years ago explained by his recoming me his reemergence which incidentally when i started sharing you know what was the date when i started sharing with the founders of ethereum it was december 20 you can look at the 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 skype logs which i have public was december 21st 2012 so on the mind zodiac on the day of the transition the day that the blockchain was born was the day i infected mihao lisi right who was the mentor to vitalik right with this idea of a thing as i described was going to change everything and you can look at my old videos so this now is my coming out so what i'm doing here is i'm coming out and saying you know it's and, and here's the other irony is is probably the launch date for um, found ups will be 12 21 21 12 21 21 exactly you know the inverse of 12 21 12 so 21 12 21 will be if everything is going, it's like that's the magic number. There it is, right in front of you, as prophesized in the book of 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 Undow Do, in the book of Do, the prophecies of Undow Do. Uh, that date is going to go down in history of when you know um, this new economy sandbox launches, and it's thanks to these guys, thanks to Vitalik, thanks to you know these greedy fuckers that have built this entire framework that we will then tweak and usher in the new thing so anyway if you have any questions you can always come to my discord it's uh foundups.org all right um i'll give you roles as the ambassador where it's a, a foundups by the way are what this is they're decentralized a decentralized startup uh what bitcloud is is what i've been describing for 10 years uh, uh, there is no entity behind it, right? It's open source, and um, ultimately uh, anyone could join and be part of FoundUps just by joining the community, which is foundups.org, and simply um, being there. Let's see here. Follow on there. I've got my hand up in the room, and they're just ignoring me. <laughs> be funny if any of you in that room say, "Hey, man, you know, uh, Undow Do's had his hand up for quite a while." So, I've been uh, I've been removed from the uh, from a from a, a speaker. I thought my input there was pretty good, but see, it's it's ego, right? So I am, you know, Ali. Obviously, Ali. I don't know. I think Thor is cool, but I think Ali uh, feels a little threatened by me. Right. That's my sense, because I kind of like take away his uh, his uh, um, his uh, he likes to talk. So. And uh, first they uh, first they ignore you. Then they laugh at you. Then they fight you and kicking you out is fighting, by the way, and then you win. So when you kick someone out, that's that's definitely fighting. So it means that. Uh, you know, uh, on there, and the simple fact that he came out and said, "Hey, I'm not gonna buy your, I'm not gonna buy your, uh, your, your token because it's priced at 20. You're not worth it, right? I'm not worth it. <laughs> I'm just happy to be the sadu of Bitcoin, blockchain, and AI. Just happen to be the guy that fucking started all this, and I'm not worth it. So, yeah, whatever. I'm not gonna lose any sleep over it. Are you? So I, let's say AK notes. If you want to uh, connect with me, I have one of the most extensive LinkedIn networks, right? I only I don't connect with any HR. I don't connect with business development. I don't connect with uh, marketing. 
uh, you can always connect with me on there. Um, another, if also, um, um, uh, here is our, um, uh, this is the company, right? So this isn't a company, but I think this is company. I think if you click on that, does that work? Right, click on that. So I recommend if you're listening to this, what I would say if you don't have a LinkedIn, you, I'll give you access to my, you know, you'll be connected to, you know, to pretty much ev anyone and everyone for the most part. I'm, like I said, uh, connect with me, you get access. Number two, um, if you don't have a LinkedIn uh, um, profile, your LinkedIn profile is 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 your dream. What it is that you it's your passion, okay? Don't put McDonald's on your LinkedIn profile, okay? I don't no one cares about fucking McDonald's. I mean, I worked at McDonald's. I worked at uh, a bunch of places, right? I worked at Cash and Carry, you know. But I don't you don't put that shit in there. You put your education and here's the cool thing because of Foundups, you can join, you can add Foundups Corporation, put yourself as a team member, right? On Foundups so you can add my company cuz remember I'm like like uh, BitClamp, so you can fill that and whatever that, you know, whatever that you're, you know, um, we're um, in FoundUps, there, there, there is, there are three kinds of participants. They're basically um, um, advisors. Advisors basically are people who, who um, um, whenever they, you know, whenever they want, right, they're passive, they give feedback. And then we have, um, um, team members which are active so if you're passive you're an advisor if you're active you're a team member we have no titles we have no we have that's it right an advisor and team member now obviously if you're involved in the VC or angel list advisor is a completely different meaning I'm like fuck you guys advisor to me is just someone who is passive right but if you put that so so for example um, you know um, just a heads up, if you're dealing with any VCs or investors, uh, an advisor is a very specific ooh, role, right? Cool. So are we connected, ACAP, on there? Um, I don't know what to call you. Note, Blue Note, a.k.a. Blue Note. So, so FoundUps, just so you, like I said in my talk, FoundUps comes from uh, um, my work from a long time ago. Uh, make sure you follow. Why is there no followers um, share page share all right um, let's see share page sharing a post So, so post what you're doing.
So add, I'm trying to do the right term. All right, boom. Post, all right. So I just shared that on there. Um, let's see, view, view as a member, be sure. Nice, I just got in there. I got in there too, so. Um, following all right so we have five followers already okay um, actually edit you know what I can uh, fix this here let's this we could edit this view as admin I can put the <laughs> look at this I could copy this go to here right so now when you go you automatically get in uh or is the edit edit so i'm in japan so japan all right, a city, Saka. And then, uh, well, so we also have um, hashtags, overview, info. All right, save. Cool. So <laughs> what I just did, this is actually really cool. What I just did now, when you go to uh, when you go to the website, view as a member, right? So when you click it, visit website. You get into into uh, into uh, the uh, uh, app because I put the code in there through a Bitly on there, so it's cool that's hidden. All right, so uh, let's see. Welcome. All right, so, uh, let's see. Home about insights, people. So you can hey, look. There's already Estavin. All right, I gotta send them. I can send you an invite. All right, for that, let me invite him. All right, all right, send him an invite. So he's in there. He may be. You know what? I bet he's actually a coder. <laughs> the simple fact, right? Here is a coder. I've identified someone, right? We've already dialed into someone. And here's why, okay? If you were, okay, he's a growth hacker at BitClout, right? He's a third tier, which means that um, here's another guy. Let's see this guy here. on the group and let's put the group in here all right where's the group um, uh, 
always groups. All right, and uh, that's the group copy. Actually, here's the group. These are these are the coders, right? So I've already found two coders. <laughs> They've outed themselves. Here, here, here's the group. Maybe they're like don't even know. They're like, is this guy? Uh, is this the guy on it? Um, so uh, front end developer. So here's our front end developer. And uh, on it, isn't that funny? <laughs> So, uh, all right, yeah. Uh, let's see, we want to go back to what I was saying. So let's see what my coin, so, so we're periodic to look, what do you think, what do you think? And we'll put a number, AK, you want to put a number, what do you think it's going to be at? I'm going to refresh the page. And Oh, by the way, post your, uh, um, make sure I added you as a friend. Post your uh, your thing so I can invest in you. Anyone in here in Twitch, I'll I'll invest in you. Um, what do you think it's going to be? Anyone want to put down a number here? I'm at uh, all right. What do you think? Am I going to be over 500 or under 500? Let's see how how high I can drive this up. No one, you're not listening to me. Y'all got me muted, fuckers. All right. Make sure, yeah. All right, let's do a refresh. Here it goes. Oh, it hasn't gone up at all. All right, coin price. All right. So, 17, my follower went up, right? So, my followers are going up. So, continuing back on the, this is the, the, uh, the group. On here, uh, follow. And when I get to the very bottom, getting close to the bottom, right, I'm going to be returning back up and buying. Right. And the reason for that, too, is the, you know, uh, you want to be on, you want to be the first ones buying in on people, right? So, and you want to be buying in on the first ones that, um, you know, are, at, you know, who are little minnows like me. As you can see, look, there are no, no one. So, I'm such an amazing buy right now. 200. On there. So, I think, um, I think um, the, uh, the little... Bit cloud. I'm going to leave this group room and start a new group, you know, all right, let's leave. I'm going to start a new thing, start a new room, right? Uh, add topic. All right, streaming. Streaming. So I could have played, you know, they could have had me as a participant, right? Streaming uh, bit clout, right? Streaming bit clout on foul dups twitch twitch stream bitcoin uh, live live.
So streaming. Be the next bit. Oh, I need to get rid of something. Check out. All right. Check out. topic let's go uh, I don't know if uh, I don't know if people see that maybe it only goes to my network plus and uh, let's uh, ping these people All right uh, so I'm gonna ping these people here my network wow I have checked how many people that I have okay share boom hey there Sima how you doing let me uh, feel free um, I wasn't in the other bit clout but um, you know they they uh, would give me a stage. So if you want to, if you have questions about uh, uh, BitClout, and feel free to unmute yourself. I'm just working here. Um, you can go to my Twitch page, and I can share with you what growth hacking is. I'm a, I'm kind of an SME, old school growth hacker. Um, I've been, you know, I got banned off of AngelList back in the day when um, I. Um, uh, growth hack on their platform, right? So let me turn this up so I can hear people. So um, what is BitClout? BitClout is a decentralized Twitter that monetizes you. So the value of you is reflected by your network. And what I'm doing is working my way to the very bottom of BitClout, right? And finding like this guy here, follow, and I'm going to buy Wookie. I'm going to buy him. Oh, no, I just fucked up. No, 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 no. All right, I just wasted an hour of my time here because now I've got to go all the way back, right? So I'm going to put a dollar, right? I'm going to put a dollar into him, right? Okay. And... um and review and I've just bought a dollar of Wookie and now look woohoo right so now I have to go all the way back uh, look I'm gonna be all the way back I'm back at the top Fuck, I've done this now like five times so now you know I gotta I gotta spend an hour doing this so um, if you want to, uh, I'm going to put a little refresh here. Foundups.org uh, is my Twitter. Let me just pull up here and see if anyone's joined. Um, Tusk, all right? Yo, I'm here. Let me unmute you. Sorry. All right, I've unmuted you. Hey, Joe, can you hear me? Yeah, I'm here. Let me call Joe. Um message yeah sorry I'm here clam add friend I am I am so um just ping me on LinkedIn 
Um, can you hear me, Joe? Crypto Joe is in the house. So this is our uh, my uh, our community, right? So if you're um, so you can just come in anytime. Uh, come in here. I will um, get rid of that. He's an ambassador, Tusky, on there, and um, I will give you mods. If you're active with FoundUps, I'll, you'll get a FoundUps 3.0. Um, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to rename this now, edit channel. This is, um, um, we're going to call this, I'm going to, bit clout, right? And this is chat, right? Boom. So I'm up, I'm pivoting. This is called pivoting in startups, right? Um, and um, let's see here. Edit, 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 edit. All right, I'm going to edit this here. Edit channel. All right, I can stay the same. All right. Found up videos. Okay. Um, so on my welcome, I need to actually update some of this thing. Um, here is the, um, everybody. All right. I am live on, uh, BitClout launch. Okay. It's all right, and I'm going to actually grab my. I like my little saying that I came up with over here. Hold on, I'm swing this over the other window. Um, all right, and uh, boom, group. Where is the Grab that link over here, company. All right, so um, that's a group, that's me. And what I want to grab is the other thing I need to be doing is actually grabbing. All right, so back here, I don't need that page, this page, all right.
Um, where is that company profile? So if you want to add Actually, I want to change this. I want to change this edit cover. I want to use this. That's cool, isn't it? Save. There you go. That's better, right? That's kind of little um, I could fix that by going to here, grabbing it. Um, I really don't need this, so I'm going to delete that. Fill that back in, and I want to move this over a little bit. All right. See, I'm so old school. Like, that's how I fucking do shit. Save it. So I can go back here, edit this, change this upload cover and there it is apply bump bomb that's sexy right there's a logo save on there all right so tweaking everything as I go that's what it's all about um, the page is up. Um, if you want to uh, be an admin, you got to link up with me. All right, so. Yeah, it's Estevan. I'm on uh, www. I'm on found. Uh, let's see. I'm on twitch.tv forward slash found ups growth hacking all right um, and then what I can do is copy that right um, or you know if you want if you want to talk join found ups Found ups dot um, uh, join org. This Some on Twitch, copy. And so as people
boom, all right. And um, so folks now, as people, this is important, all right, as people, thanks. All right, so now as people, this is why you send it out to everything. All right, boom. And uh, all right. so um, so as folks come in and respond to my thing, we send it out there. Notifications, follow back. All right. Um, see if there's any um, search. Yeah, a little longer. I don't see it. I don't see it. Got a Mac or Windows? Oh, my goodness. Oh, I'm on my cell phone. Oh, okay. Chaz. What's up, Chaz? AJ? What's up, man? How are you? Fucking, uh, hey. Uh, I set up, uh, so anyone on LinkedIn, I set up the LinkedIn group already up to about a thousand members um, I set up for folks who are I'm, I don't know how many of you are active on LinkedIn um, but I also set up the 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 company so if you want to add BitClout to your LinkedIn profile kind of like you know people do with Bitcoin and everything else and all these other tokens you can do that now um, the, the, the reason to do that is it's a way around the it's it's a it's a great way to message all your connections and then when they follow up and congratulate you you say hey this is my profile here is a link um, on the company when you click on the company join the company it actually I put in the invite key so it automatically puts you into uh, BitClout so you don't get that red screen So yeah, so I'm and I'm and I'm live on Twitch right now, and you can watch how I'm grow. I'm a you know, I've been kicked off so many platforms for growth hacking, right? Like Angel List, you've heard of that them? I've got videos of Naval back in 2011 kicking me off because I'm I'm that effective, right? So if you want to kind of know how I'm approaching it, I'm sharing public so you can watch it's kind of boring and then what I'll do is I'm going to just put my headset down to you guys 
and you will be the sound on the on my Twitch page. Make sense? Yeah, is your Twitch name? Uh, found ups. Channel. Found ups. Found ups. So my name, yeah. So uh, just do a. I can. Um, uh, you can't send it here, but found ups like a like a startup, but a found ups but plural on there. And I'm gonna put the headset down. So so. You, I'm just going to be working and stuff, and, uh, and if you want to be a moderator and stuff, just link up with me on LinkedIn, and I'll put, I'll make a moderator of the room, of the, of the LinkedIn profile, of the page, right? What is it on LinkedIn? It's, 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 uh, uh um, I'm on Dowdo, so you can, well, if you go to Twitch, I'll put everything in Twitch, so I've got the company there, let's see, let me refresh this on Twitch, so, uh, right? Well, what about LinkedIn? I don't, I don't use Twitch too much, what are you, what are you doing on LinkedIn? I've, I've set up, I pivoted my group, I have a group with a thousand members in it, and I pivoted it to, so it looks, you know, so we already have, so from, from outside looking in, right, it looks like we're already at a thousand members. So, I set up the, the BitClout group on LinkedIn. Oh, okay, never mind. Okay. Um, yeah, he's got his, his uh, aged assets, so now people can actually, like, uh, show and promote BitClout on LinkedIn. Correct. Like, so it's a it's a good social media uh, like growth like social growth hack like organic. Yep, yep. And by by adding and I set up the company. So when you add the company to your LinkedIn profile, I I have a, a very extensive LinkedIn. You know, I'm pretty much I have a two tier connection to anyone on the blockchain, right? That's and that's in and LinkedIn. That's the magic number. If you're a two, you can connect with anyone, right? If you're a three, you can't. So the power of LinkedIn is to be a number two connection, a connector. So by you connecting to me, you'll be a three tier. You're probably all more connected than I am on the blockchain. But you'll, you know, I have a, I don't, I don't connect with any um, HR. I don't connect with any business development, and I don't connect with any recruiters on LinkedIn. Period. So my LinkedIn, and I don't just, I don't just accept every fucking invite. So I have, a, I have a very, very exclusive LinkedIn. I've built this, this, this network over the course of 10 years. So, you know, um, anyone that's in here, you know, you can access to my network. And it's a clean network. So. Um, what are you, what third party uh, application are you running for the automation on there? I'm sure it's just you're doing that. Say that again. I said, I'm sure you're running some sort of like third party automation since you're building all that stuff, like for your messaging. What do you, what are you using? Dude, you can watch me fucking do it, dude. I'm a fucking hardcore fucking growth hacker, dude. My fingertips, man. It's awesome. Yeah, I do a lot of organic social, uh, SEO. Like, I wish. I mean, I would, you know, the reason, you know, I would love for, you know, you could watch what I do. You know, I have very specific things, how I use LinkedIn, and actually probably build a very simple bot to do what I do, right? It's very repetitious. So, like, if you're looking at my... Uh, my Twitch site right now, I'm getting people already saying, congratulations, congratulations. So as these congratulations come in, right, I go, I go, so he goes, congratulations on your new role, right? So, so basically 6,000 of my high-end connections, right, from all over the world, just got a ping that I'm a growth hacker at BitCloud, right? And I've got the cloud is all set up, and I'm working out in Osaka, right, on it. Um, so when they, and then I go, I hope you're doing well. Uh, I'm the Twitch founder, growth hacker, if you want to talk to us. And I've got my Discord, so I'm basically saying, hey, come and look at what I'm doing. And number two, if you want to talk about it, you can just come and talk to me. You don't have to make a point. I hate when you make a point. So I expect to see at least two more all teams of two weeks. So we saw one here in the last cycle from um, April to so let's say until July. So like on, let me see, see don't follow me. 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 You can even say that this was one which we are going to do. Let's buy the company. That's um, I'm so and then, then you saw guys teach me about this, I'll teach you on LinkedIn. So don't follow, I'll follow always send it in by then. So if, and if on LinkedIn, what you want to do is you always want to do it on the PC, or if you're on your phone, you want to do the drop-down menu and say add notes. And then this keeper site will start us in. Because you can get by that whole fucking gatekeeper shit on LinkedIn by, you know, by basically saying connect and add notes, right? So you've got like a little twit that you can send people, so you don't have to have a public account or anything on LinkedIn. 
more default season periods in the performance yeah, right right So, okay, cool. now another so you said, no, say, hey, man, when you know, I'm talking to you and so and so, right? Or, you know, is make when an we went through this three-year right? long uptrend. On the so this three-year uptrend so, is so already, um, and like, basically on the, on the twi Twitter page, I'm just linking all the collaterals on there. Like, here, as you can see, right, we had several projects you already BitCloud uh, bit to your LinkedIn profile, uh, right it will now, show up. You'll see what I build, right? In that. I think it looks pretty but cool. Right and if you can prove it, right, that hey, it's a better graphic, whatever, then uh, you know, like it's pretty cool. So I'm, I'm not uh, a media guy, I'm not, I'm not a, you and know, if you know really um, going to really the tagline is mine, though, right? To go be the next Bitcoin. I own that shit. That's my fucking trademark. Just let everyone know. So then I'm convinced that we are going so I'm still I'm, I'm for smoking, a right, to be so for the group, group here? So, so I've got for now, the group. But the bad good, thing about LinkedIn, you can't that pick the group with the LinkedIn, cycle right? in general yeah. will stop or once so, you, um, you can't, for example, I can't add the group to my LinkedIn profile. I don't know why. You know, like I, you, you can put those assets under your profile, right? I want to put my group there. So you have to do is put an image and then like, you'll see what I did with, if you look at how I did clout, right? On my LinkedIn profile. Uh, here, hold on a minute. Let me shrink this. Okay, accept you. All right, AJ. So when you, so if you're, I'm, I'm, if you want to just look at my Twitch, I can show you, right? It's weird. Why should you hold in these types of content? All right, so if you go to your profile, you'll see what I have on here is Grow the Hacker at BitCloud. Boom. That's the headliner that went out. And then um, the, um, if you go down here to what it is, this is what I came up This is actually taken from my startup. This, I just changed one word, right? Just so you understand how close what I was doing and what they just rolled out with and why I pivoted everything I'm doing to what they're doing. Okay. Imagine if anyone could tokenize. I had to use anything in here, right? I just changed anything to themselves and be the next Bitcoin. This is Bitcoin, built on the blockchain and Bitcoin store values. It's a kind of social media Bitcoin. To join BitCloud.com, use this link, right? Um, the other thing I did here, if you go to the company page here, this link. If I go That's view it, it as a member, this visit website has that code in it. So anyone clicking on, so if anyone comes here like, oh, what's big, you know, like right now you get that fucking red screen of, you know, sets to be that. Linked with me, 
So obviously, if it's one of you guys, right, and I've been talking to you, what are you going to do? You know who I am, what I'm doing, you're going to link it with me. These guys are like in the shadow. So, and this guy is, is uh, this is a front end developer, I bet you. And this guy here is, uh, look at him here. Um, and they joined the group. And he's the only thing I've been able to like glean data. I know, man. I fucking love LinkedIn is the fucking bomb. So I've just outed two of their developers because they don't know. They're fucking coders, right? So they come in, all of a sudden they see the company, they see the white paper, it all looks legit, it looks clean, right? They have, they see me as a growth hacker, and they're like, oh, I'm a growth hacker, right? No, this guy's a fucking coder, right, on it. Yeah, he's the founder of Wayhead Ventures. He's a fucking, right? This guy's got money. Right? You're in the data. Let's, 
wall. Let's say Jay. Let's say for her, I go connect. Let's see if I can. I, I can it says right. It, it will have a block. It says please provide the email. Right. Here's how you get around that. You go down here and look for her groups. So I like this. Right. The next one. Here, here's her investment. Where they'll have groups. Right. You go to the group. You join that group, and you can join. You can send her an invite. Now that's an obvious demand. Now what works? Building an obvious demand or something really, really good. Not the group. No, no, no. You don't add the group. You add the company. So, so when you go, so going to, let me just go back to LinkedIn. I go to here. I go down. So right down here, okay. Um, here is my employment. I can do the plus sign right here. Recommend anyone. Okay, and then under company, you just write Bitcloud. The reason why I do this demand so well is not so much the demand of yep. normal retail marketers. Yep. It's the amount right. of the news. So that's all you do. So, so in the other like, thing, and you can grab this. Look at my profile. So imagine anyone. I use that tagline, right? Because that's powerful, right? This is big cloud. And then on here, I put the white paper. I also put, um, you know, join the join the the BitCloud LinkedIn group. And then I also create this Bitly, Bitly slash Join BitCloud is that pass is that pass. You follow? So you can just grab. So you don't have to fucking. You just grab. Go to my profile. Copy this. I even have this. You can download and grab this little. You know this little picture here, right? Right. Uh, in, invitation link is right there. White paper is right there. That's it. Less is so, we're looking at real life data. All right, I'm gonna let you guys talk, and I'm gonna be working. If you want to just watch what I'm doing, if you have any questions, just pop into my Discord, you know, and uh, or you know, um, and I'll let you guys keep you know uh, keep doing your thing, man. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for the info. Uh, if anyone's ever really picked up, on that, I would definitely give him a follow and check out his Twitch channel, Green Trousers. It's good to get to know for any type of marketing um, and the same application can be applied for any campaign that's like that's powerful and the way that he's utilizing it can definitely be used for a multitude of different campaigns. This is just a great use of the
you know, I, whatever. This, this, this is just a fucking thing. I just put permanent because it's a stronger thing when you say permanent, right? It's just a stronger statement than self-employed. But we are self-employed. Um, but I'm per, you know, whatever you want. It's, your, it's up to your your whatever you want. The in the company, you just type bit. You just do the uh, the bit uh, 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 bit cloud, right? And there it is. And I put marketing and advertising. I don't know. You know, I don't know what to call it. If you guys have any idea, I think we're marketing advertising ourselves, aren't we? We're all fucking marketing advertising, pimping ourselves out, right? I like the growth hacking because, like you said, when you started putting it on there, I guarantee people that do see it are going to be like, oh, that sounds cool. Yep, yep. And then down here, you know, you can end your positions, right? I, um, um, No, I don't want to do this. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm going to hit. Hold on. Let me just discard. I don't want to. Hard look at Bitcoin. I don't want to redo that because I didn't do it. I'll be like screwing up my profile. Um, oh. Does that make sense? Did that answer your question? How do you do that? Volume. Yeah. So that is why yeah. we're going to do that. Is there any way where I'm going to print my phrase or a link to my profile or anything? Yeah, yeah, you can. So in that, in that, in that experience, okay, at the see, at this experience, you can grab and copy what I wrote. You can see if you go to me, go down to my growth hacker. There's a whole statement here. Just grab that whole paragraph, okay? And you're gonna change your at symbol. So I have at undo there, right? So you just change that to your profile app, right? By the students, similar to Facebook at the beginning. Student Coin Connects, students oh, yeah. and So I can here, I'll grab this, I'll just put this in Twitch, right? I'll just put this in uh, Twitch right here. Obviously, right. Facebook. Okay. So, right, imagine. So I just copy pasted it in there. Point is looking to do. And then they also have to so you can just grab that off my Twitch and just stick that in there. And the other cool thing is you can grab, or if you come up with kind of a cool like logo and stuff, stick it in the company stuff, like, so I can use it and add it here. I create this little, you know, um, uh, BitClout LinkedIn, right? Imagine with a logo, I just create that. So this little asset and all I put on there is invitation link. Go for something like student point. There's the invitation. I create this bit.ly for the invitation, which just join BitClout, right? It's a bit.ly join BitClout. Cause I didn't want to have that ugly long fucking link in there, right? March. Most and then also I, I link the white paper. However, by the end of it. Right, because I think people need to read the white paper. Uh, you know, like the graphics are good. Yeah, exactly. The graphics are good enough, right? It's a fucking, look at the graphics on the website. I think my graphics are better than what they have on the website, right? Yeah. <laughs> so, I, if, so basically how I created this, I just went to, I Googled this. I put, look, all I did was I looked for, you know, BitClout. Right, this is how I created this, and uh, you can go through my my feed, and I actually did it live. You know, I've been streaming all of what I've I streamed the entire launch of this project on my Twitch. So since I've been up since uh, ten o'clock, so the entire process of everything I've done is recorded on Twitch. Right? So here it is, right here. I just grabbed this. I re I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. The images on there. I just reworked this. Right. So currently, we currently have and I, and I just do it in paint. I'm a paint. This is it. I use paint. Nothing special. Right. Actually, this was something I was going to add. Right. What is? I, this is actually another collateral we can add to it. So I can go back here. Right. I can go to here. I can edit this. Go down here, and I can upload another image. Right. That image I had. I, I kind of. I wanted something. That described what it is that came from their white paper. Filling STMX. Obviously, Storm X is one of those videos we like to cover quite a bit because we believe it only belongs on potential. It's one of those points that continues to surprise us with, uh, you know, the app itself is it's, all. Yeah, I mean, it's, this, it's because they live in a centralized world, so they don't understand our decentralized one, right? But that's not my problem. That's that. 
you know, and the, the, uh, I've been doing this on LinkedIn a very, very long time, you know, so this is to me, the, the, the way I can do this very quickly is because I've done it 100, 200, 300 times. Right? So, for example, when I go to a conference, I put the conference up there and it pips it out to everyone. It was like, meet me at the conference. I kind of work around the whole LinkedIn, you know, like, you, you know, I got to sit there and fucking send invites to 5,000 of my connections. No, I just create, I add a new thing, widget, and it sends it out to them all. To us. It pings them automatically. Exactly. Like, go to YouTube, like, Vimeo specifically. Vimeo actually allows you to, like, replace the video, so we'll get a video ranking for, like, from the DIY attorneys, and then we'll go sell it to someone, and then we'll go sell it to another person who can actually put the video and go up and release it. Yeah, I have no idea. I'd love for you, you know, that's a skill I don't have. You you were were talking about. Uh, I definitely need to connect on that because I've seen I've seen that shit that you guys talking about. It's amazing, especially when you connect it with the right people. So especially with what you're showing on us. I think you and Chad are doing the right thing. Yeah, I'd love to, man. I'd love to. We can uh I'd love that. You know, I'm just this is my skill set and I'm like sharing it with the world, right? <laughs> so, a lot of partners as well, a lot of people like the side of network. Well, you basically divide S and F. So, this one level, you have 3,000 F. You did that 1.25 times more cash back to win. You know, you can get the silver at 31,000, gold at 10,000. So how much did you earn? Well, it shows you right here. Membership level, depending, uh, gives you bonus rewards, depending, and then rewards, depending on obviously.
Yeah, I'm telling that. you, I went through about five times it wouldn't take, and I eventually had to fund it. So, you know.
And then when I get to the very bottom, I'm going to start buying my way all up. And I'm going to spend all my Bitcoins and just watch and buy all the minnows at the bottom all the way up that have been verified. And that's going to be my system. So every day, so this is my flow, right? This is what a bot should be able to do. It, it just, uh, you know, I work down and then I work up, work all the way down and work up. I'm not following anyone on the top, right? I don't give a fuck about them. them that's going to be like, uh, this incentivizes validators to either spin up a new validator what was your question? or like, what, what's your and like, incentivizes uh, validators to move up to a new Each side on the hand is watching. Uh, I haven't and decided, but, well, we'll see. You know, we'll see. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, so basically, um, I'm going to run, I'm going to run 24-7 till all weekend, right? So it's, it's Friday here. It's 4 p.m. It's like, you know, in the afternoon. I'm in Japan, by the way. Hello. Konnichiwa. Um, and uh, I'm going to, what I'm doing right now, like I started off, my coin was worth basically 10, like, like you know, when I don't have zero, right, when I started this morning. And I want to see an idea of per day by doing this, what sort of metrics I get, right? And, 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 and um, um, and then make a determination from there. So until I have, does that make sense, John? Yeah. But what I'm, but but my my strategy is going to the instead of like oh we're hey we're network hey friend like me friend right I I think that you know that going to the very bottom of the list and buying into all these people who are just coming in and nobody's like me I want to support those guys. Right. Yeah, that list that I sent you over is actually, uh, shows the people who are claiming their accounts and people are getting verified in like real time. Right, so what I'm doing is I'm just scrolling down the value. I can't get down there. I have to physically, this is the work, this is the mining right here. I'm physically, if you're watching me on Twitch, I'm physically mouse wheeling my way. I'm down to $497, right? I actually got down to 200 when I reset it. So, and as I'm scrolling down, whenever I see, a, like, there are very few blues now. Down here, there is, like, I'm going through pages and pages, and there's no, no, you know, no blues. Yeah, so, like, if I keep scrolling, you'll see a blue check. And if I see a blue check, then I follow that person because they claim their account, right? Yeah, we could definitely, right, so, like, keyboard maestro script. Yeah, yeah, so, like, this guy here, this I, this guy right here, so I follow him, right? And, I and again, I want to get all the way down. I want to see go to zero, man. I want to see, I just, I'm curious. I'm curious where, where this goes to, you know? All right, there's another guy here. I already got down this far. And, actually, you see, I've already been down this far, and that was a new guy. So, that, that guy right there was a new guy. So, we need a little script that just takes us to the fucking bottom of this thing, right? So I don't have yeah. to, you know, and then like, right. so I have to fucking mouse wheel it. See, I've already done, I've already done Graham. It was cool selling that, I found out that you keep counts parity accounts, and I said, yo, I know we're going to sell. So I went to the first and sold my, my GPT coins that I had up in the air. This token rewards will vary between validators. Now I'm looking at my my purchases that have accrued. You know, uh, Jim, I could sell yours that I bought, and I'd have I'd have eight dollars for it now. Uh, that dude was sure that was in there earlier. I bought his for six point six eight. I can sell that for sixteen right now. This is hilarious. Although it's not noted from Harmony's documentation, video about flashing now reveals. Are you actually buying their full coin value, or are you just putting some into there? I think no, 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 I, I was spending 6.66 on every one. And, uh, yeah, no, no, you know, I'm going I'm to keep it, you know, like I said, these are, there's people I believe, like, I believe it, you know, it's, like, interesting, uh, these are people, these are early adopters in the space, but, you know, Chief Keep shouldn't have updated his profile in the same area account, because I was like, oh, get out of here. So, I have followed me, the Chief Keep guy. If you happen to have a partial starting with an account, and I was like, well, can you give me an account up there? So I'm just curious, is anything like the white paper for BitCloud? 
not have to be solved on yes, everyone's yes, yes. So what do you guys think so of, like,
over like a hundred people in a room that if they follow me, I'll I'll buy one of their tokens, and I usually send three dollars and thirty three cents to everyone. Yeah. Um. It, I mean, it, it sounds like every. I, I think the reason I'm saying is because like if that works and the price is going up like by design as you buy it, like they have the table in the white paper that it, you know if you have so if you buy ten coins then the price should be four eighty. If you buy twenty coins, the price should be nineteen twenty. If you buy forty coins, the price should be seven six seventy six eighty, and then it like goes exponentially. You know, eighty is three hundred seven dollars. One hundred sixty coins when one hundred sixty coins are in circulation, twelve twenty eight. When three hundred twenty coins are in circulation, forty nine fifteen. When six hundred forty cir- are in circulation, it jumped up to twenty thousand dollars, and then when twelve hundred are in circulation, it jumps up to eighty thousand. It's an exponential graph here. I'll uh I'll BTR. Give me a second. Yeah. 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 Because I was in Japan, they're like those Japanese are rich. They're not gonna fucking make a penny. <laughs> yeah, maybe you needed to be on like a VPN or something. I don't know. No, I mean I added my I added my Japanese phone, so everything went through. It was weird. I put in the table, by the way, VLP. So, so AJ, you're buying six six six. Is that like a magical thing or or like a demonic thing? What's what's your what's your rationale for that? Well, you know, some people would see it as demonic. Some people would see it as, uh, you know, very special. Um, I think, like, my company itself, Audiovisual Cult, it's, like, subversely positive. So, you know, I think it's, like, definitely open to interpretation. A lot of people think it's, like, unlucky in, like, all sorts of ways. So it's, it's whatever. You know, it's, it's, it's open to whatever people think. Uh, I know my first NFT sold for 6.66 Ethereum, so... I'm pretty fond of it. No, no, I don't have a judgment on it. I was just curious. I was just I didn't know if you had some math behind it, like, oh you gotta put six point six six in every thing for the magic to happen. No, I like uh you know, I like repeating numbers for, like in, in this type of stuff, you know, so um that's kind of how I first arrived at that. Also, like yeah, with my company with our company, with you know, the artists we work with, it's definitely toting that line and I would say older people would see what we're like what we're doing and think it's like like offensive or yeah. like super negative but it's like the opposite so that's why like you know we say like it's like subversely positive because you know a lot of people would say that's actually a really positive number and uh, would point to you know other other type of stuff to back that up nice no that's that's Real very quick. cool i think it's cool you give me an idea of what my number is but i'm not going to tell you what it is yet I'm gonna start doing it. See Did you guys. Did you see to... the comment I left on your Instagram, bro? Dude, I was like, yo, I want to hear you talk. Oh, my ins- on oh, my Insta. Oh, my I'm not even on Instagram, dude. I'm on like Twitch. I'm like, fuck, you're gonna make me get on Instagram too? I've got only two monitors here. Well, you know, I'm just saying. I know that you are fond of of that type of stuff, and I'd love to hear you speak on its relation to blockchain. Okay. All right. I'll go. I'll have to play. Hey. I wish you just like put it on my Twitch. <laughs> yeah, I've got two right. monitors. I've got one monitor on this, Twitch. another monitor on hey, my yo, Twitch. I was just looking at that graph, and it, and it looks like that basically coincides perfectly with my account. Yeah, I want to see if anyone else can confirm this too. Look at your guys's, uh, you know, supply of you know current coins in circulation, and then look at the thing in my PTR. Um, it should it should align, and if it aligns, I mean, basically it's designed that oh, as you buy your coin, the price inflates. As people, other people buy your coin, the price inflates, and then, but it, it eventually, I mean, at some point, I think that because it's designed this way, it's too simple of a design. Like it doesn't account enough for supply and demand. At some point, you know, people will just buy enough coin that it'll be like seventy thousand to buy a coin, eighty thousand to buy a coin. Just says has been pumped and dumped twice. He's gone 
up to a couple hundred bucks and down to like 60 bucks. So, so is pumping and dumping a thing in this? Is that, is that the game? I mean, this is where I need to learn from you guys. What's the next thing? Like once I feel my follows, I'm going to start buying. You know, should I be? Well, people, what people are doing now, since there's no uh, direct uh, <coughs> way to, to cash out the bid clout, is they're like going to Discord servers and different places and just selling it at a discount price. So like right now on Discord Mafia, they're, they're selling bid clout for like $90 a coin, whereas on, if you buy it from bid clout, it's $132 a coin. So the real hustlers out there are, are monetizing it offline, basically, over the counter. Shit, let's do that. Yeah, we're so gonna do that on LinkedIn then. Let's just start. We're gonna have to do that. Let's just let's get a little thing going on here. Yeah, I think there's definitely like. Uh, How do you? Because it's sorry, Chad. Let me cut you off. So because it's it's an ERC twenty, I can send it. To, is it an ERC twenty? You can send it to other accounts. So uh, like okay. on the left side of where it's a send big clout. Like you can send me all of your big clout, but not actually buy my coin. But you could actually send my account big clout. I get it. So basically, put it like so. Basically, I'm building. I'm building. Um, um, that, uh, I'm. Uh, what, what was the word? I'm, I'm building value. I'm cashing out that value, and then I'm selling that value at a discount, right? So people don't have to buy it from, you know, from from the site. So they're they're saving, you know, thirty dollars per. Yeah, which is pretty sufficient, you know. Like I. Fuck yeah. Wish I I would have bought it from them instead of buying BitCloud. Fuck yeah, I would have done the same thing. <laughs> yeah, that Discord server, and it's this uh, little kid, he's 16 years old. He started with $6 yesterday and made $3,000 uh, just running game on BitCloud while it was up. Uh, the server for Discord is called BitCloud Mafia. That's the that's where people are, are selling it. It's gone as low as fifty dollars a coin, uh, bid bid cloud. So they're they're actually. Hey, I'm, Chaz, I had a quick question about uh, logging into the account. So I'm on my laptop and trying to uh, load my account, and I put in that super long phrase, and it says no. Uh, but I'm logged in on my cell phone. So is there a, a thing where it, it doesn't let, allow you to uh, load two accounts at the same I, time? That could be one reason. Another reason is when you copy that phrase, the beginning of it, it says uh, something like, copy this sentence. You don't need to put that part in the phrase, just the, the actual sentence that follows the colons. Yeah, just just the words, right? Like that. Yeah. Okay, and that's exactly what I did. And it says an error occurred in oh. that mnemonic. think so? No, I'm afraid to log out. Do you ever log off unless you hit log log out? So, like, on my phone, can I, like, permanently be logged in kind of thing? Yeah, but this is something um, to kind of touch on what I said to you at first. Like, this whole site actually went down for, like, eight hours yesterday, uh, completely down. So, we all got logged out uh, at a certain point. Like, everyone got logged out. So, it's okay. still, like, very much in beta, it's still pretty buggy. Um, oh, uh, beta, beta is very fucking progressive. This is fucking alpha, man. This is an alpha. <laughs> yeah, it's still just like they're, they're still working on uh, getting the whole network aligned. But in my opinion, it's still not a hundred percent stable. So probably okay. gonna have to work on some things. But it sounds like it's probably just not gonna let you have two accounts popped open. Probably so. You can't run bots while being on it and other reasons. Oh, okay. Are you able to test it out right now? I'm just curious if anybody is able to test it to see if they're allowed to log on to two different accounts. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll try logging on to my uh, Yeah, I definitely felt that anxiety.
for checking. Welcome. We got a new uh, member to the uh, BitClout uh, LinkedIn community. I want to put a shout out for Chaz. I see your profile. I'm sharing that sexy face of his to the world. And uh, I'm going to go in and right now, make, are you in the group, Chaz? I'll make you an admin. Did you join the group? Uh, in there, man. Yeah. All right. Sure. All right. So let's go to the I'm, I'm so powerful. It's just like I've gone down the rabbit hole before and it was like honestly scary. Sales Navigator and Lead Gen, it was just like a lot. Let's see here. Yeah, if anyone's on LinkedIn, go, go uh, follow our, our company, BitCloud. We're uh, the growth hackers at BitCloud. Put in your profile. Let the games begin. Wait, are you, you work at BitCloud or do you start the BitCloud company on LinkedIn? I started it. Uh, the, uh, so, so BitCloud is it is a is is like bitcoin so if you go on linkedin you can see that there's tons of bitcoin right it's like all these these decentralized you go look at decentralized ch exchanges on linkedin you'll find a shit ton right so um uh because of the simple fact that bitclout is not a company means that we can set it up as like bitcoin or anything else so and uh ultimately um anyone just like anyone can be part of the Bitcoin on LinkedIn or, or the decentralized funds and work as a, you know, can establish themselves as part of the company. Make sense? I mean, I, I hear what you're saying, yeah. Um, yeah. I, I think that there's, I've been having questions about, because there is someone behind BitCloud as a company. There's serious capital behind uh, the BitCloud network. Sure. You know, there was nodes put up in advance. There was pre-sale of coins. Yeah. Um, and I mean, those like those people are. Um, I, I, I'm curious who they are. Um, but I mean, that's an interesting. The the uh, well, two of them, two of the developers, I've outed because they've joined this the company that yeah. I stuck up there. I mean, I would give it. So, and, you know, the, the just like, you know, spit up Ethereum is still a foundation and a governance of some kind. And at the end of the day, if you're paying into BitCloud, Chaz, like you're buying BitCloud, like where is your Bitcoin being held? Is there a place on the blockchain you can point to this block and be like it's held as collateral there? Or uh, like, where does the money go? Where is the money right now? So it's in like a wallet. Where. Which wallet? Whose wallet? You, BitCloud wallet? Yeah, you can see it. Is that There's over 3,000 Bitcoin in there right now. I can, yeah, I'll, so then I'll, whoever controls that is. I'll put. Well, it's it's like Satoshi. It's like Satoshi Nakamoto's wallet, right? There's a million Bitcoin in there. So, so um, yeah, there there are there is some big players behind it, just like there's big players behind Bitcoin, right? Um, um, if you go but to Bitcoin was just dropped by Satoshi as like a low key white paper, like he just dropped this idea and started this thing. There was no real players behind it when he launched it. You're, 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 you're correct. Um, but if, if someone had the hindsight to see where what Bitcoin is today, big players are as they are today would be behind it, correct? So sure, sure. they're just so, so basically just imagine Bitcoin was the prototype and now they're looking back and going, okay, let's launch this again, right? But let's put some real money behind it. And the reason, for example, why they're doing it the way that they are with Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is not treated as a, as, a, as a currency, but as an asset, and you're switching that asset for another one, is, to, is the whole SEC shit. So they obviously have had some very high-end attorneys, you know, graph this all out in order for their I's are dotted and T's crossed, ready for a fight. And talking about the players, it's Sequoia Capital and a host of other major investors probably the Winklevoss twins you know are and, and they're in they're in um and they're uh located out of wyoming right which is wyoming has the dow so the laws are there are very favorable so they know they have the support of that's the most favorable state right that you want to be in for that so they've definitely um put a lot of thought in what they're doing absolutely absolutely I mean, this is a very thought out launch of a, of a crypto, um, well reasoned, well played. Um, you know, I mean, so many coin launches, and of all the coin launches, this has been one of the. Let's see. You know, I don't, I don't 
don't see you, Chaz, in the, in the group. Are you in the group? What's up? Are you in the, are uh, you in the group? Make, who's his M M M Gon X? I'm making him a manager. I just saw. Here's a here's a quick strategy. I just saw someone that you know I hold in high regard in this NFT space post on the wall of BitClown. Man, it's crazy to see at this other person on here on BitClown. And I said to myself, okay, this person probably knows what's up. This other person's probably a big deal. Let me just go ahead and buy twenty dollars of that person's coin and flip it in thirty minutes and see what happens. Especially since it's on the home screen and, and he's shouting, the, he's being shout out. Yeah, Who being shout out is cool. Who is he? Tell us the pump. Okay, okay. <laughs> the pump name, and I and I, and I wanted to like get it, like like shout him out, like oh I just bought. But you I'm need actually to like, post this on my Twitch, man. It's a fucking, I, I, want, I can't I type. Want, okay, the name. I can't type. Are, are you talking about the one I just put? Yeah, bro. <laughs> yeah, bro. The name is Oscar A R G A E Z. I'm about to. I'm about to. Yeah, I'm. I'm running a test right here. I'm seeing what's up. I saw the cosine, and I said, you know what? Just based on the cosine, this is like this is like doing stocks. This this site is so fun. It's like based uh, on this. I would imagine that stock's about to shoot up since it's going to be on the homepage. Let me buy real quick and sell. So you're talking about this guy as an investor, real estate developer? Uh, hey, hey. yes. Yes, investor, real okay. estate developer. Little, like, give me one hour, okay? 5.30, okay? okay. I'm getting off Most here. recent status, my business made me a millionaire, and Bitcoin made me a billionaire. Yeah, you know, with a profile picture like that, you just know he's destined for success. He, he <laughs> is the value, bro. Dude, that's what I'm saying. I was like, yo, I'm reading this as a good a good lead here, and uh, yeah, we'll see, you know. Um, but yeah, they're, they're essentially making us market makers for the time being. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Yeah, this is early on market makers for sure. Yeah, I don't, you need to start pimping that undow do. <laughs> good tip, AJ, good tip. Keep on. Dude, it was freaking over here like uh, I was uh, just just looking at the stuff I was like okay let me see let me, let me try let me try something here uh, on your end AJ how much of you did I buy like where where does it say like what I made originally because I can only see like it says it, it's valued at $88 now but I forgot what I how much I gave you I believe you spent six either you either spent $64 or six dollars I can't tell. Let's see what that, that guy too doesn't own. He only owns one of his coins, so he isn't pumping himself yet either. Oof. I don't know what that means, Dylan, but I'm following your advice. <laughs> it means he's not a believer in himself. I'm down. I'm down to two dollars and fifty-five cents, man. I'm gonna get to zero here. I've reloaded three times. I keep fucking. I've reloaded once. I wasn't gonna tell anybody. I'm, hey, I'm, I'm a. This is my. This is this is my. This is my fourth. Most like that UBI from like last year till now, just giving us that money every month and just pumping into the market. Dude, that's that's crazy to think about. Yeah, you know, I'm currently invested into this big cloud experience. I'm 150 dollars in, and if I wanted to cash out my own coin, I would get 250 dollars right now. But I, but I, I, I greatly value the stakes that I've bought in my own stuff. So, like, um, yeah, this is really, really interesting. So, if I drop a thousand dollars into my coin, how, how much am I pumping? A lot. Like, my investors are gonna make bank or what? It depends what you set your rate at. I don't. I'll drop it. Oh, mine's at five percent right now. I dropped it from ten. Um, yeah, your investors are definitely win. Uh, I kept mine at ten. I went up. I'm gonna keep it between like two and five percent. I think that's normally what I trade at, anyways. What uh, what whale sharks do is he's like setting thresholds to when he's moving into the one percent, and then he capped it. He's capped out the one percent. He started at like twelve or fifteen or something. 
so you think going I so mean, low to be, sorry low to high is better? She's uh she's doing what we're doing using that damn mouse wheel trying to get to the bottom. I'm trying to I'm trying to get to the get to the root. <laughs> I know I'm watching your screen, bro. It's like a marathon. I'm just scrolling. It's like when you run a script and uh, like on an old Facebook invite or something. I'm not gonna goof up. I'm focused now. Don't distract me. There's no, there's no, look, there's no, uh, there's, look, look at the, there's no, like, accounts verified. Look, I'm in the fucking desert here. So how do you buy it? So I'm on the uh, at the upper right hand. It says buy, like in my own profile. So what do you use to buy it? Like cat, like my credit card? Like what? I don't have Bitcoin. You gotta buy some Bitcoin first. A little bit, okay. Um, on, on the we're gonna go. We're gonna walk too, because I want to get exercise. Like you can buy it on and then transfer it from that wallet to this wallet. We're gonna walk. What do you recommend? Like from where? I've never bought. I'm so bad because uh, I'm they lay down so much Ethereum lately that I didn't even know what it was. I'm playing, this is my game, okay? I'm playing a game. This is the okay. game. Okay. I use Kraken. Uh, Kraken is who I use. So, as my exchange. But Coinbase, I think Coinbase is like a pretty standard one that everyone could agree is just good enough for something like this, you know? Coinbase? Is that what you said? Yeah. What is this? Bit, look at this. There's BitClout. Look, there's BitClout. Fi I found BitClout yeah, 500 down here. Chaz, I found BitClout 500. This is something they're working on. I found a little gold mine here. Open new tab. I just bought, I just bought a little, uh, little Ver Veronica. Here's a, I'm gonna, actually, you know what, Chaz? I'm going to start putting recommendations so we don't have to scroll down here again in my Twitch account, right? So put the buy. I recommend Bitcoin. Isn't that a good idea? Like a working dump or something. Because if you just dump everything into the stream chat, it's going to be hard to reference it. You want to like share a Google Drive? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let me open up a Google. Let's let's do that. That's a good idea because it disappears after I refresh on this. Yeah, like we could play something like I call playing ping pong and have a working dump. Yep. Or, so, or, you know what, I'll put it on my Twitter. Uh, you know what, I'm going to put it, I have a solution. I'm going to pull up my uh, uh, Bitcoin chat. Let's see, I'm going to change this to, um, uh, let's see, uh, well, it's not chat. What is it? Uh, buys. There you go. Bit, uh, BitCloud buys. Right? Yeah, I like it. So then in here, it's right under welcome. You go in here. I'm going to start putting the buys in here. Got it. Right? So I think, like, I see anything, like, with BitClout, like this one here, I'm fucking buying. And here is my here is the, here is is the my number that I'm going to be buying. You guys got to get a kick out of this. This is inspired uh, by AJ. Hold on. AJ, where are you at? $91? Damn, my investment just dropped five bucks in Google. Oh, it's because you sold some of your coins.
on this here. Do you know what it is? Yeah, the big pot, 500, I like it. No, no, you see what I'm, that I'm buying? Look at the amount. Oh, yeah. How many You're decimal places can I go? You're going all in. All right, pump the big pot, 500, everyone. No, 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 I'm, I, no but look, how many decimal decimal points can I fucking go? I guess it rounds up, but do you know what this number is? Yeah. Yo, this is, this is so fun because I've never thought, like, Forex or any of that trading stuff was, like, cool and for me, but, like, playing this stuff with, like, people and people I know and, like, artists and stuff, it really is super fun. This, this is crazy. That's so funny you just mentioned that because I was just thinking, I'm pretty sure my account was, like, at 10 bucks on BitCloud this morning when I started. I'm at, like, 30 bucks, 200% for today. That's not bad. Post your buy thing on my Twitch. I'll buy it, man. Yo, what's crazy is I already had bought that big Cloud 500 before you found it. I was just going through my wallet. I had already, I already bought it. You probably searched Big Cloud, didn't you? And it probably popped up. No, what happened is I think because I wasn't reaching out to anyone. I was just going into room saying, "Yo, follow me, and I'll buy some of your tokens right now if you follow me." So I went on to look for your. Uh, handle through every single person's bio in a non-clickable link. So he would, he must have been one of the ones that followed me, because I everyone that followed me, I bought one of their uh, coins. I think Bitmex may be good. He's probably around in Clubhouse, this big Cloud 500, because that's that's the only place I was. Really careful, not to fuck up my my scroll here. Uh, I was gonna say you're getting dangerous. I know, man. Going from I'm right clicking and saying bye. That's Scoby. That's an interesting name. I like, I like his name, Scoby. Yo, Verona, Veronica Coin. Uh, you know, if I was gonna sell that, I would. It's at thirty dollars right now, and I paid fifty dollars. It's at what? You're 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 trading at like a buy or. Let me, let, me, let me see. So you're you're at twenty three dollars, twenty three point three four coin price, and for me, because I bought I bought part of your coin at uh, two dollars and twenty two cents. If I were to resell that right now, that would sell for thirteen dollars. How are you seeing this? All I Dang, Ooh, I found right one. There, bro. I found the, I found the goldie. I found the goldie. I'm gonna do it just. Because hundred percent gain right there. Just yeah. to have gain, and then I'm gonna, and then I'm gonna reinvest. <laughs> We're just pumping each other. Slowly. <laughs> right, put uh, another one in the chest. Chain. You mentioned earlier that you found a place that people are selling these offline. Is that a Discord or where is that? Discord. And then how do you use it? Yeah, it's a. It's uh, it's called Big Cloud Mafia. You got an invite to it? I would love to check it out. Yeah, let me uh, let me get it from my little. I got it. I'll put it. I'm gonna 
to share it on um, on my Twitter Twitch account. Just go up to where are you streaming on Twitch right now? Yeah, Bound Ups. Yeah. I got. Oh, I've got. I've been streaming since uh, ten o'clock. So you can go back and watch the whole fucking adventure for your at for your mind. Uh, so my sixteen-year-old growth hacker that flipped all that money in like two or three hours from six dollars said. L zero M S. He said that one's gonna blow up. I haven't checked it out yet. Looks like an incredible person on Twitter. I just, uh, I just, uh, you know, I flipped that. I made you know eleven bucks real quick off the Veronica coin, and you know it's up to twenty five dollars now, actually. So it's definitely a great coin to buy, and I'm not just saying that because I just uh, maxed out twenty twenty something dollars to reinvest in the. Like, yeah, I know. I know. I'm pretty sure if you, I'm pretty sure if you have a bunch of investors that have already invested a coin into you, and then you just dump a shit ton in, like a thousand dollars, like I don't even know how much you want to put in there, and then that's gonna pump it pretty freaking quick, and then you can just sell it. Yeah, it looks like your investors would sell it. <clears throat> I, I can be the investor. Let, like, let's just map out a game plan. Let's map out a game plan, and I'll, I'll put all my money at risk. And Elon Musk does on Twitter. He's just like, I'm gonna pump the market today. Let's see what I can get stirred up. Exactly. I mean, he does. He puts up a photo of a Doge that goes up three percent. Yeah, powerful stuff, man. Social media was severely underestimated. I used to pitch. AJ has bared witness of me pitching brand, big brand social media like 10, 15 years ago, and they were all like, "That's never gonna be a thing." Yeah, right. That's stupid. Like when the show was just like 2007 to 2011, we were like, we were in a space where people didn't even know that there was such thing as a fake follower. They just they they couldn't comprehend that like at all yet. It was so new. That's when people were teaching like, oh, like dot com is commercial, so it means bad. Dot org means organization, so it means good. And there's like, no, anyone can buy a domain name. Like, right. That's what people were thinking back then. What they were saying, man. Like they're. They're still to this day running fucking twenty thousand dollar a week uh, advertisements on television on the golf channels, thinking that that's gonna return something. It will for a certain demo. Yeah, for sure, um, for sure it will. I just I look at path to purchase, right? Like, what's my consumer's quickest path to purchase? And if you're watching something on the television, there's a lot of things that can get in the way to the actual purchase, whereas on someone's phone or you can figure out it's not like what was that no no I'm fucking send it to everyone and it's not working for some reason I don't know why my app everyone on my my server's not working absolutely okay. and fail send send it look I don't know if I have to do a space here why is this not okay everyone okay I had to click on above alright so I'm sending out to everyone I've got like a thousand people Live on BitCloud Launch. Um, right. Here is the private invite. Yes, send now. All right, cool. All right, so I bet actually meant to send that out earlier. Did you still didn't get to the bottom of your Belmont? You're like in the hundreds. Yeah, hold on, I need to go back there. I have to, I have to relax my fucking finger. But, but this guy here, I want to buy here. This friend, this frenzy guy here. Oh no, not that guy. Hold on, let me make sure I'm not. Yeah. Th That's th this guy right here, for douche. Die, whatever. He's a fucking buy right there. Open new link. When you find a blue down here, man, it's a fucking buy. Let me go to. Um, yeah, he's already gone up just from your screen to now. He only has five followers. Dude. Yeah, I'm buying. Bro, yeah. 
this is, you know what, this is, this is the golden number, right? I'm putting in the golden number. So you did 6.6. I'm just doing one point. But I'm just going to just buy everyone going up. I do 3.33. So this is yeah, the, the, the golden, the buy. You know what buy is? You know what buy is? Oh, like the symbol? Dude, this is the magic number here. I'm telling you, the 1.618 right buy, dude. The, oh, that's the golden ratio this right there. The golden there. ratio, baby. That's what I'm. That's oh, yeah. what I'm using. I'm giving everyone the magic undoubted golden ratio. Dude, oh, I like you. <laughs> you inspired it, man. That was like that's six. I was like, right like <laughs> that's it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give everyone the golden buy. Everyone's getting some buy from Undaudu. I'm giving out the buy. Uh, let me put this here as a I use, I use the golden ratio as a composition of a lot of my artwork, too. Not just in trading. It's like I can't believe that that's everywhere. It's insane. I know. It's amazing. AJ is pushing it to All right. One thirty-three. AJ. My sixty-dollar investment just doubled. I'm gonna test out this market maker stuff. Wait till this weekend. I'm gonna put some money into my coin. We'll see how much it pumps. I got it to up. zero. With the Discord and that, that kid who's already selling them, he's like the one who put me on. He's like, bro, I I was on there for six hours and I just did the standard free account and he got up to three grand selling it at like a seventy percent discount. Another one. Look at this guy. It's got the gold. Look, Vic Clout, Degen. Mm. I like don't sell any of my coins. I'm just gonna keep putting more money into this thing. I like this is gonna this like is gonna work because there's people that are way bigger degenerates on crypto than me, and I've already revealed this leak. This will be my fourth time. <laughs> hey Chaz, when you say refill, what it, what is exactly does that mean? transfer Bitcoin into BitCloud in hopes that that's all I'm going to spend for the day on the platform, and I'm now on the third time of, like, letting myself down of the amount that I'm going to spend today. So I keep putting, like, a couple hundred bucks in, and but it's just too that's, much. Chaz, that's why you got to use the golden, you know, number. Just do 1.6, man. Just, just be in, I'm in it for the marathon, not in for the race. Make my shit last. It's probably a better investment than like I mean I live in Las Vegas. You go try to have a drink, it's like a hundred dollars. It's ridiculous. Like every step you take on the Las Vegas trip is like a hundred dollars. Yeah, you got drinking here in my neighborhood. Um, there's something in Japan called snacks. Have you ever heard of a snack? When you come visit me in Japan, uh, there's snack bars, and you have got to pay just to get in. You have to pay like a fifty to a hundred dollar cover charge. You get doted on on these, you know. I go to a Filipino snack because my neighbor is dating her, right? So I go there, and they and the girls just dote on you, and you know, and pour your drink, and then you got to buy them drinks, and it's like ten dollars a drink, and it's all you can drink, right? But by just by ninety minutes, you're like out two, three hundred dollars. How long have you been over there? Have you have you 20, been there? 20, 20 plus years. Well, two thousand and four is when I moved here. Yeah, I'm, I got to do something with the Olympics, man. I'm over here. You guys can't come to the Olympics. So I think I'm going to go to the Olympics and, and do a bunch of social media or maybe some meme or, or NFTs with you guys. We'll work on something. And let's do – because I can just be the, the feet on the ground, right, and go to Tokyo and uh, do something there. That's awesome, man. Yeah, that's going to be like it's gonna be a once-in-a-lifetime. Right, and, this, and no one can come to it because it's closed. You know what's another thing we can all do that's going to run up the numbers on all of our profiles is just commenting and, and commenting and creating like uh, threads on, on the profiles. Like just go to go to everybody's profile and like comment because then it's going to show up in like the feed and then more people are going to be introduced and they're just going to buy in. Yeah, so you like, should be commenting on my amazing fucking boring ass Twitch fucking scrolling here. You know, this is like, this is epic. This is epic. Who's, I'm 
like the first guy getting to the zero. I'm going to get to the zero, and you're going to be saying, oh, look, I found another one. Honestly, though, like, this is the groundwork that most people aren't willing to put in. Like, there is no elevator to success in a lot of this stuff, and especially what you do, like, organic growth hacking. That's just fucking, I'm going to work harder than you and do more labor. You know, like, it's it's hard work. It's just, like, daunting. Here, there. You look at my stream. Look at these old videos, right? This is this is this is Angel List, right? Look, uh, TV. There, there's a. Um, this is from 2011. This video, right? Wait, you gotta put a link in your description. You're killing yourself. You gotta get a link in your description. What link in my description? Which one? Like in the description of your video, just always throw a PayPal link in, in your descriptions of your video, so that way it juices them. YouTube's one of the best. To, Where do I put the link? Inside here or in the title? The, the description. So uh, take your first keyword, which in that looks like Thumb Tips TV in your title. Yeah. Put it as the first line. Almost think of it as like an H1 of like a blog post. So I take Thumb Tips TV? Yeah, put it in your description. Well, I used to have that domain. I don't have Thumb TV anymore. Shit. Yeah, it's all good. Uh, I just thought it was a yeah, well, Foundups TV, well, yeah, so this is, uh, or Foundups is a key word, actually. Yeah, so put that at the top, and then put a space between that and a paragraph of text, and then un right underneath that Foundups, put that Angel Gate Co. startup link that you have in there. So skip a line down, down, so that there's space, and it just says Foundup. Click the pin, or yeah, and now take that link that you have that's in the side or back. Oh, down here. Okay, 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 yeah. Yeah, so take that link and put it right underneath a line on your found ups. Like that? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep, there you go. But I want to also put my Twitch account right in here or something? Yeah, you can put it down anywhere. Just any links that you put in that description, they'll carry over to the board from that video. Oh, and then so found ups. I could go uh, www.twitch. like that yep and then you're just going to want to make sure that above those links you have a keyword so like oh, so, okay, so. for, uh, put that as the top and think of that as like an h1 in a blog why not like undow do yeah that's perfect do it's i need a space you. there or could like that is that fine yeah, yeah that's totally cool so all right see i've never see i've never been taught this shit right so basically i do i do a keyword and then a couple links and then, yep. and then, and then uh, on there. The link that you got in your description is down there, uh, filled in at the bottom. And then another pretty cool, always click no, it's not for kids now because they got sued. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And, sure and then I guess I go like these uh, yeah, cards like, or end screens. Yeah, okay, yeah. I see and then those keywords, like when you make those cards, just those keywords are the title of the cards. Hold on, this is, this is so broken here. Let's see, playlist. Um, yo, I gotta quickly hop off, but before I go, I just wanted to ask either uh, Chaz or Daudu, um, can you all send me that Discord link? I really want to look into yeah, this yeah, big yeah, yeah. thing I got more. It. I got it, I got it. I'll, and I'll put it in my, are you on my Twitch? Oh, yeah, I'm on your Twitch right now. I'm Hold on, here, I'm going to put it in I'm gonna, YouTube it's, stuff. It's right here. Uh, uh, let's see here. Uh, mute. Invite people. Copy. Twitch. I forgot to do that. I'm sorry, man. I got fucking distracted. No, 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 Chaz no fucking you distracted me. You get, your, get your YouTube all like. Uh, yeah, come you join, know, uh, join Foundups. This is Foundups, too. You can always join yeah. Foundups.org. See, I got a yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. There it is. Fab. Let me. Is that you there, Flame? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah, me yeah, uh, yeah. add you as a friend. If you guys want to sell your pit club too, like hit me up. I, I can work with you guys on the stream. Yeah, I'll probably. I'll hold. Yeah, we need to. We need to d develop a market here. Like I'm totally cool paying ninety dollars for something and paying one hundred and thirty-three dollars that I'm about to do again right now. 
so okay so this is this make sure I'm not going to close this out let me close this one out confirm oh, wait, wait. Confirm. fire with the tabs right now bro <laughs> you are playing with fire with your soul I know man when I go here well I hey I found the blue dude and I gotta follow his ass you find a blue down here this is like oh, an oasis Token tax. I'm getting down. I'm in the hundreds now. I got my my boys out. He's gonna log on and play some. Um, you know, uh, my 14 year old has been so patient with me because usually it's they're they're on summer vacation, so I only have one PC just to force you know so so that it's like it forces us to switch out because I'm a gamer you know. Oh, Q and on. Do you think I should buy Q? That might be a good one. Yeah. I think Q and on is a fucking good one. I think I'm gonna fucking. Like, I don't know, he's probably not, you know, they're, I don't know, man, they're, they're crypto crazy. I'm going to just open yeah. a new tab. We need to get an NFT uh, superstars on AJ, or what, what is your guys' group called? NFT super, NFT superstars. Yeah, like, since Tom isn't going to use it, he should just use his number for that one. Good one, guys. I got a good one. Crypto Zombie, man. He's only 150. I'm going to follow him. I'm going to put this to a buy. Crypto Zombie. You know he's going to be huge. I like his, I like his avatar. That's, what I, that's actually what's attracting me is the avatars. That's actually what I'm looking at is the avatars. So, uh, I got to buy base here. I'm getting down. I'm actually, since there isn't many, I'm like looking at people like they're, they're at, here's a, here's a crypto, here's a, uh, an NFT guy, this Adidas, Adidas. I think You're JR is. Hundreds, wow. There's a lot of people on this file. I know, look at this JR. I'm going to follow him. Is that what you're getting? No, I just, I, I was just saying. I, yeah, we need more people. If you're on here, this is a great way to, um, you know, to crowdsource what we're doing and driving people to, you know, to the platform. So it's, uh, if, you, if, you, if you think of the exponential function of that, right, 
So let's say I've got 5,000. Of the 5,000, let's just say 10, right, do the same thing. Like there's 10 people interested in it, and they copy that. And they're each sending out to their five to 10,000. You see the exponential growth of the power of basically cranking this out to the, to the crowd by simply adding, um, you know, this to your, your profile. Can everybody on BitCloud go to my profile right now and comment on the GIF picture I just posted? I'm trying to put something on the feed that catches people. It makes us all money because then it makes the coin go up. Yeah, yeah, that would be really good. The fat Bitcoin, I like that one. I like this one. I like these these the bottom feed, man. This fucking these are awesome. Like the fat Bitcoin, BTC Lite, Bitcoin Plow. Here you go, OTC baby. in what do we what are, uh, let's get like a room consensus like what do you guys think the actual chances that elon musk goes onto the platform one and then two Zero. that he buys his own domain i think elon i don't i think there's a good chance I'm about to buy some of his coin now that he just said that <laughs> one percent i say that it's like a one percent like diamond in the rough shot but like I mean, I don't know who kn who knows, but like uh, he doesn't really seem to like kind of care about like small communities. Well, which right now maybe if it gets like big huge, then maybe. But like, like even on Twitter, like he kind of uh, he doesn't really respond to like people so much. Like if you're not like Michael Saylor and people like that, you know. This is it. Look at all the buys I'm doing. See all the freaking buys? This way you need to do the golden ratio, man. I've just got ribbons just flowing here. Look at that. that that's like there, there are other influencers and Twitter celebrities and stuff. Well, well, celebrities in real life, but they also happen to have many followers on Twitter. But, like, um, they'll actually get back to Heavy people, load. like regular people it. on occasion. But Elon Musk is not one of those people that, like, likes to uh, converse with us little folk. No, looking at the Elon Musk account here, I think the uh, people who hold this coin and have paid the most for it, I think these are accounts are probably good accounts to follow. Um, and then also, you know, looking at this Elon account as well, it, I, you know, maybe buying some of this coin for a quick flip would be good because every page you go to on this website, these top accounts are on the right. Elon Musk, all of these ones. So, if, you know, if people... I could see people not knowing who or what to buy and then just buying, you know, one of these, you know? So, I don't know. I'm thinking about one of these now since they're always on the screen. Or these people, these faces were generated by the website. This person does not exist. I'm looking at maybe, and as somebody that spent probably 100 hours on that website generating faces, uh, she totally looks like a this person does not exist profile. Are you still doing that? Are you still running botnets on social? No, it's just a uh, website called This Person Does Not Exist, and you can automatically generate AI faces. Oh, yeah, and yeah. Check, check it out. It's really cool. That, that's what a lot of people were like using as a third function to create those social profiles, right? Like, that's, that's an easy workaround to use generating those. Yeah, what it, what it does is 
that um, if somebody, by the way, also released music and they they made like I don't know, like a hundred ETH or something off these like faces, basically on Rarible, but uh, <clears throat> which kind of pisses me off because I had that idea before, but I just didn't execute on it. But um, but basically, this person does not exist. What it does is that it takes thousands upon thousands of images, and there's a there's basically like one computer somewhere, from what I get, from what I heard. Is that, but it's kind of a mystery too. Like I tried to reach out to the quote unquote inventor of this web, this uh, AI, and uh, he's like, it's he's nowhere to be found. But this is also the same AI that like Ubisoft uses in like the background characters on like a sports game or whatever. The people in the crowd, they actually use uh, online face. Uh, I don't see. Yeah, I'm not a technical person, but face uh, aggregators or whatever it is. But basically, what it does is that it takes thousands of images and in about it takes like between three and five seconds and it basically every time you refresh the page it scans the internet and it composites like a thousand images based on color and stuff like this but occasionally like one in every 100 will be a freak like it's like there'll be something completely like like the person will have like robotic like skin like coming out of their head or like I generated this one guy. It like literally looked like there was a Cthulhu coming out of the water in the background, and it's really cool. If you get a chance, check it out. It's a, it's addictive. That's super dope. <laughs> but I know for a fact that people are using this for. Uh, they're using this specifically. This person does not exist for um, fake profiles and bot profiles and stuff like this. Yeah, that's what I. like they almost look real but then there's like a little kind of they are real but like you can just tell by the way there's no way to really zoom in on the image but when i'm looking at that on elon's uh buyers it's like i don't know what it is like the 20th down it's maybe then when i look at her face it's totally like not a real person I mean, it looks like this person's actually, like, posting, um, but, like, it's like, I mean, who knows? It could be just automatic generated posts, who knows, but, like, um, yeah, I mean, to me, there's no question that there's a lot of, like, gaming in this system that's going on. Like, I'm talking within whoever's behind BitCloud, there's def- they're definitely gaming this system, like, um, but that's not to negate the fact that I just had a two-hour conversation with somebody that I met through BitCloud that basically we're going to work on a 20-piece NFT together, so it's like, you know, so it's like, I don't know, like, to me it's been worth it, but, like, what's the cost of it? I guess we'll, we won't find out, like, what the cost of it is, like, what it, what the hell it is, like, anything like that. But, AJ, I'm looking at your piece right now, man, that's, like, amazing. That's, that's, <laughs> nice, that's some nice work, dude. You know, I released it as a set of six, and uh, Chav was trying to be one of my first collectors, and Aido swooped in as my first collector on um, on a different piece. So he's not my official first collector, but Chaz did collect one of this set of six, which is like my Genesis piece. So um, yeah, man, it's real near and dear to me, and I feel like it represents me. So there's six pieces, and one of them is the is the gift of the different versions. So yeah, man, thank you very much. Yeah, no problem. And um, were you in the, maybe you, you were not in the clubhouse room, uh, it was like three weeks ago, but were you in the room, or was anybody in the room, rather, with the guy that claimed that he owned the trademark of that S? No, I don't remember that. Someone told me about that, like, yeah, but like, does he still that everyone come in there like seven and eight or something? Yeah, and he's like, he's claiming that he has it for like noble purposes, that like, basically, he, um, just wants to make sure that if regular people like use it that nobody trademarks at first basically and like comes after people but it's like i don't know i gotta like question anybody that trade you know it's his explanation for why he trademarked it was pretty cool but it's like why the hell are you trademarking something that like every
everybody's just going to use anyways, like, regardless of anything. That's, like, a universal kind of graffiti, like, street art symbol that has a lot of meaning for different people that, like, you know, it's a very powerful, that S is, like, I love the way he used it with his glasses, you know, with the, the <laughs> his eyes, you can see his eyes are, like, blue, like, with the blue light. It, yeah, this is really, like, great work, man. Yeah, he actually, he actually has those glasses, like, in real life, that, that shape, exactly like they are in that where <laughs> Yeah, definitely. I, I really wear the sunglasses like this. I ordered them from a designer. Um, her name is Mona Thomas, and she just dropped her Genesis P Sun Foundation uh, yesterday. Uh, I was talking to her about it because I only tag her in my sunglasses. And, you know, she like, it, 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 so her piece came out. I, I have to check it out because I was going to do a room with her that it didn't sell, but I'm sure it sold because um, her artwork in every direction. I still don't know how you can design when you wear those. Like the slits in the middle are microscopic to see through. Like, I would just. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I still see through the whole thing. It's like not just the slits. Not like. No one purchased her work yet. First of all, I'm tweeting this immediately. Ooh. And second, her name's Mo, uh, Mona Thomas. I, I, just re- I just tweeted it from Foundation. But, um,. Yeah, maybe I'll do a room with her tomorrow so we can try to get some, uh, like, eyes on this thing. Because she's an amazing artist. As y'all can see, I, I wear those in, in my in my photo. In, in, like, my character, I draw myself. So I definitely want her to do, to do good in this NFT space. I'm down to 120. You know, AK, oh, sorry. The... oh, what happened? We talked at the same time, my bad. No, no, no. What the fuck? Oh, oh man, no, I, I, no I, way, no fucking way. What the fuck happened? Oh. I was down. Did you see that? It just popped yeah, me to uh, the. the like, it like reloaded it. It like cached it. It cached it and put me up at the fucking top. It probably gave an air of like, uh, kill this page or wait, you know? Wow. Oh, well, that's my, um... Go up far down that list, bro. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll write a little script if we get to the bottom. Yeah. We need a script to get us to the bottom. That's Tom's know-how. Yo, so, could somebody give a quick breakdown of what Big Cloud is actually, you know, looking to do? What it's meant to be? <coughs> I, I can uh, take an attempt at that. It's basically a social currency system. So it's like, uh, it's kind of like that episode of Black Mirror, like with uh, Brandy Chastain a little bit, but like, it's a, it's a, um, it's a social currency system where basically you buy people's coins based on whatever, really, based on your speculative value of where that coin can go. Uh, you, you basically, uh, you can buy into BitClout with like Bitcoin. Um, I actually did that, and my big mistake was that I didn't buy my own coin first, because then if I bought my own coin, I could have got in really cheap, and then um, and then when my coin was like at a at a high of like whatever it was, sixty three yesterday, uh, so my coin got sold off, I guess. But like when it was at a high of sixty three yesterday, then you know ideally if I bought my own coins instead of just having one like I do right now, one point whatever then basically I would have had a few of my own coins. Then I could have sold my own coin and then started investing in other people's coins. Like, that's that's the way that you play it. So you don't really, I guess, you know, and also, you, like, you do not get your Bitcoin back. Like, most likely this Bitcoin is funneled one way. That's towards whoever is behind BitClout, which, you know, I mean, the Winklevoss twins are supposedly involved, I, although I haven't seen any, like, real evidence of that yet. There's other, like, Bitcoin maximalists that are supposedly involved. And so basically, you funnel your Bitcoin towards them. You can sign up, I believe, for free, but I could be wrong about that. Does anybody have more information on that? Depends who you are. Some of oh, us... Okay, so, so some if you're of us, nobody like, like myself, then basically you need no, to spend well, 59 bucks. No, 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 we don't know, but I had to pay... I had to basically... Uh, gas my account, but other people cannot. So maybe I messed up and I didn't have to, or you know, who knows? Yeah, I've heard 
mixed reviews on that. Some people are able to go in with like they get the free six bucks worth of bit clout, and then they're able to spend that accordingly. And they've been able to build that into like their own coin. It's like now worth like this is all shit that went down yesterday. But like other people have had to spend uh, like fifty nine bucks to like edit their profile or something like that. So it's it's very like inconsistent like all this shit but like i'm not upset about the 50 50 bucks that i spent because uh 59 bucks rather that i spent because uh like basically i made some good connections yesterday and stuff like that and it was just kind of a nice exchange with people and to me that's kind of my real benefit for being behind it is that i just like to have the exchange with people it's kind of cool just to like buy into somebody and then uh i don't know if like if people get pissed off that you like sell them though because i don't want to spend more money on it more bitcoin on it and i sold a couple people's coins to buy into other people's coins so i've been kind of basing it on their like their output whatever they're doing like in the app like if people just like are posting like lazy memes from like three days ago then like i'm kind of like selling their their tokens and then uh buying into other people but i don't don't know i kind of feel like little bit shitty about that so it's kind of like weird it's like i got some weird mix of emotions about this site that i'm kind of like addicted to it's got an addictive property to it which kind of doesn't make sense because it's it's a uh it doesn't really the site doesn't do anything so like aj's gif like i assume had to be pretty small aj no it's huge really what's uh what size is that megabytes I just went and saved it from OpenC. Oh, yay. 35 megabytes. Oh, snap. That's giant. Can we post video on this, though? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we can post video. So, in the, uh, as of yesterday, AJ, you could only post, like, under, like, 5 megabyte GIFs. It wouldn't take anything, like, above that. Oh, snap. Looks like we're figuring out new things about the space. But, uh, yeah, yeah, so I'm pretty sure some things happened behind the scenes on that, whatever they did last night. You know, people are, like, complaining, like, oh, it's down, it's down, da 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 but it's, like, everything's exactly the way I left it, and uh, it seems like the site has some, like, improved functionality just as far as the way it's, like, clicking through, and that could be because maybe, like, the, the node isn't, like, busy right now, but... Interesting. In terms of what you said earlier about how it looks like you only funnel big in one way, is there any way to actually take profit on these points at some point and take it off of big cloud, or is it just it, your money? It's happening there? already, and uh, I don't know, Chaz could explain. Uh, yeah, right now there's on platform. There's there's no way to offload it um, through that, but there are Discord channels and other people, like including myself, who are buying big cloud. Users uh, directly, like over the counter transactions at a discounted rate. Uh, right now, the Discord that we were looking at, the average rate on the, I guess you call it the black market, is ninety dollars a big clout. So you save about forty bucks uh, buying it direct from people instead of the site. Gotcha. Interesting. And so to pump your coins price is just simply being active and having people buy into it. Yeah, and the way that you structure it. Um, right now, it's such a new platform. The way that I personally am trying to build my account out is I'm telling people that if they follow me, I will buy their token. So it's pretty easy trade for them to just click follow. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to follow. I'm getting there. I'm fucking getting there, Chaz. I'm just doing my <laughs> dot my eyes. You see what I'm doing? So I'm, I'm, I'm linking, now I'm doing like, want a growth hack on LinkedIn? Question mark one. Add, yeah. add uh, bit, bit cloud to your LinkedIn profile. Two, right? Invite your friends. Three, when people congratulate you, right? Uh, you know, um, uh, uh, send them the invite key, right? To join. It's awesome, man. It's awesome that the others are out there that are willing to just put in the strenuous manual labor to get the result so what's your ultimate vision for this like where where do you see it going what do you see the use in building out a profile on your meme it's a mo- no, let me answer that so basically what this is what differs this between facebook twitter linkedin everything else 
is imagine if all the hard work you put into building any of these other social media sites, you were actually monetized and given, uh, you know, given a, a, a monetary value for that effort. In essence, what you're what you're doing is is your your account is a token. You are a token, and the value that your account represents is the value of the token that you are, right? And the, the cash out of that, um, either you can do it through the black market, which is going on already, right? Through or or what they're saying is they're going to provide a means to you know provide exit out of it. Does that make sense? So, for example, I'll, I'll use myself as an example. I, I, you know, I was I built my Facebook, you know, to five, six thousand. I built LinkedIn, and then fucking Twitter came out, and I was like, I just can't keep, you know, building. Plus, you were fighting with bots and all that shit. So, I never built a Twitter profile because I saw really no value in spending the, the time, you know, um, growth hacking to get it up, right? Because I already had these other networks. Whereas with this here, immediately you see a, an ROI for your effort. So I started today, literally, I started growth hacking. You know, I set up the account last night. It crashed. This morning, my account was, you know, worth like $10, $10 right? I didn't even look what it is right now. I haven't even I haven't even networked with the people in here yet. I'm just getting the foundation done first, right? So to create kind of the funnel, right? So, um, and that... And it's nice to look at it. And last time I looked at it, I was like, hey, man, I've got $250. So so from the time it's 5 p.m. here, so I've put in from you know, 10, 11, you know, 11, 12. So seven hours, right, I have like, even though you know it's $200 of ROI, right, it's measurable. So that's what I like about it is I'm actually getting a measurable uh, re, you know, response on the effort that I'm putting into it. Whereas before – that that measurement was based on people following you back and everything else you know this is it's tangible interesting uh, i definitely see where you're coming from with that concept i got two questions on that uh first off what is your coin start on when you first get started and then also um just a random thought as you were talking about it i know that with current social media platforms like you see instagram actually taking away these like features and everything like that because the whole uh, mental health aspect to it, so I'm intrigued to to see and also hear everyone's thoughts on um, the aspect and that implication with this being that, uh, just like Cliff Dad was saying before, you know, feeling bad about selling someone's coin. I'm sure there are people that feel bad about their coin being sold as well, and I'm sure that there'll be huge implications with people equating their actual real life value to their value of their Bitcoin of coin, in a sense. But uh, I'm more curious, like, what was the starting price? How does that structure work? that again what was the question so does the like what's the amount of coins that uh, say each user has like everyone in this room do you have a set amount that you start off with like everyone gets a thousand coins no probably, zero more. you have Say to you have to fund your account so um you know um with with bitcoin that then you turn into their token so they're they're getting around the sec um you know legalities by by using an uh, an asset right, not a currency. That's what Bitcoin is defined as. To then, you know, to translate into another, um, and it has no value, and there's no exchange, right? And they're letting they're 
you know, they're they're letting it's, it's what happened with Bitcoin. They're letting the the, the market determine the price on it. Um, in many respects, the black, you know, um, but on the network, they're saying for these, it's 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 this value. I don't know if that made any sense. Or not. Uh, kind of yeah, yeah. I'm just I'm just curious, like um, in terms of like let let's say you got your coin, right? Like how many of those coin are in circulation, or is the value just directly uh, correlated to the value that people are pouring into this project? Uh, anything to do with economic tokenomics or anything like that? The um, well, the the value of your token is based on what other people invest in your in your network, right? So what they're putting into it determines the value. And they have. You should read the white paper. That you have the you have, the, have you read the white paper? Yeah, I'm, I'm about to go pull that up now. It's six. It's really it's short, short man. It's really questions. short and easy. They will answer your questions in there because that that's in there. And I'm, yeah, yeah. I figured. Appreciate. It. So I I just got back, guys. I've been gone for a while. I'm sorry I missed a bunch of the conversation. But while I was gone, I like went to another room to read a, to hear a little bit what they were saying, and then I also read more into the white paper. Um, the more and more I look into this. It just seems very much to me like even if there is an offline economy emerging for it, the core economics of BitCloud as they're created by the white paper and by BitCloud itself, like the way BitCloud is structured, is a bit of a, a scam. I mean, I just have to say, like, even if people are profiting off of it in the short term, I mean, I support all of y'all and do you, but uh, I'm just saying in the long term or midterm, unless it builds up such an adoption that, oh, it can actually turn itself into something. The core economics of it, as are described in the initial outlining, are a scam. Like, for example, um, if you have 20 BitCloud in circulation, the price of the coin is $20 a coin, or 1920 to be exact. But the amount of U.S. dollars that have been spent on coin by people who are buying into BitCloud is 128 bucks, which can't pay back 20 coins. So if you then, so if you bought 20 coins, and then someone tried to cash out the 20 coins, the money doesn't exist in the BitCloud system to reimburse people for the money they've put in. Um, the system is inherently designed on people buying in and pumping each other up. And like, I, I love the energy and I love everything that everyone's doing, and I don't want to like be a damper on anyone spirits or anything i just i have to say this because i want to like make sure that I, I, I like i want everyone to win you know and i don't want people to get burned and like people can win in the short term but i just want to be like sure people if, if you're getting in make sure you have a way to cash out and uh I'm, i might still make an account i might not i don't know but i'm just saying kind of looking at these economics it's very concerning Neil, uh, there's no way to cash out. So I pretty much, you know, I initially spent the 60 bucks or whatever it was that I thought I had to spend to create my profile. For me, it's already been worth it because I'm just like, I'm able to connect with uh, my pre-existing connections like in a new kind of more interesting, exciting way. So That's a lot of fun. Hey, and basically, I just like the fact that, you know, when I went in with like 60 bucks, like basically I put like one or two dollars on every single person that basically uh and i wasn't expecting to get anything back i didn't even know that like people had active account i didn't know anything about it but i just like basically you know sunk in like a buck's worth of uh bit clout into you know every person and you know it's like yeah i've sold off some people's coins based on like their i guess their engagement with the platform and stuff like that i'm kind of like and it's kind of a weird feeling, like, no doubt. But, like, for me, it's already been worth it. I've already had uh, two or three new connections, people that I'm going to be collaborating with, like, 100%. I just got got off a two-hour phone call with, like, pretty much an expert in NFTs in all platforms, which I've been into it for about a month, but I'm technologically uh, not good. So, basically, uh, so it's already been way worth it for me. But uh, when it's up to everybody, everybody individually, you know, it's like... You're putting in 60 bucks a Bitcoin potentially if you're one of the people that – I don't know why it's like 60 bucks. I was just told put in 60 bucks. I'm still trying to find out why I didn't 
spent six dollars worth of Bitcoin on this, but like, but I have friends that put in zero and they got the six bucks and their coins are already up to like a hundred bucks and stuff like this and uh, and stuff. I just think it's really fun. And now the fact that I can actually post my full length gifts, uh, thanks to that info, AJ, uh, is pretty awesome. So I look forward to creating, uh, getting my gifts ready to post on this platform because I don't really want to put them up. Yeah, if you're using it. Oh, jeez, my, my phone lag, sorry, I didn't think coming over you there. But yeah, like if, if you're using it for, um, you know, what you've been going after before, where it's more the value you're getting out of it is the connections that you're making through the platform, then I think that's a different story entirely. But uh, from where Neil's coming, like I, I do have to honestly agree, like from an investment standpoint, it's not very viable at the moment, especially not being able to to actually get an ROI. Like the, the money is there in a sense, like it shows you a dollar value. If I can't pull that back out to Bitcoin, then it doesn't seem that viable to me right now. Yeah. Well, you, well, you, well, you can. That's what, what Chaz was saying. There, You can go to the – there's – there's people are buying it. Yeah, the different, the different third parties, like Discords and everything. I understand that. But, I mean, like, there needs to be an actual upward ramp through the site and, itself. And the other, the other thing is, is – um, um, all, you have to understand, this is an alpha, right? This is like so early on. I mean, there's so many different directions and uh, that this can go um, in the layers and everything else. So to, I, think, I think anyone, th there's always that first mover advantage. And that's how I'm, you know, I'm looking at this just like when I played, you know, when, when um, Ultima Online was launched as a beta and, you know, and, it was, it, and we just rushed the fucking land grab and set up, and, and, and or, or same thing with WoW. That first mover advantage of getting in there, um, you know, like right now, like like Chaz and I just did. I just scrolled down, and at the pit, there's like very few people connect. I mean, it's 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 a desert, but within within I think within a month, it will be com night and day. It'll be like a populated fucking New York City, and now is the time to kind of kind of was in Twitter, right? When Twitter came out, it was those early accounts that established themselves, right? You know, think about it like this. Isn't Clubhouse beta still? And, like, we all see the value of, yeah. um, you know, get, or even, if it, even if they close it tomorrow, we will have extracted value from this social network. So I would say, I think, completely, bro. It's like, uh, you know, get in. Get in. Why, why not? the value that you're extracting isn't a dollar value it's the value that you're getting through the education or the connections that you're making which is why when i said flipped ads version of utilizing big cloud makes sense right it's utilizing, utilizing it to make uh connections or reconnect with other people through a new platform that's awesome but if you're yeah. looking at this for an actual roi and dollar value not being able to extract your funds directly through the site is kind of a red flag well, you know, I think it's I think it's know, early. Though, like you could argue with NBA Top Shot, you can't withdraw from there either. But yes, you, you know, I'm people have withdrawn already into US dollars with NBA Top Shots. Yeah, and I, to, to that point, I think the creators and kind of the community at this point, they don't want people to putting money in to take money out. This needs to grow. It yeah. needs to get to a correct it's ready to take money out. Then the creators or whoever, when they're ready to. It's still centralized too. They're gonna, they're probably gonna take it decentralized eventually. But it's, it's very early. Um, right now, a hundred percent agree. Don't, don't plan on investing and getting anything back anytime soon. This yeah. is like a video game at this point. That's, and that's why I'm putting in one, you know, uh, one point six, right? One dollar and, and six cents per, per, you know, per, uh, per person. Yeah, and also. Just really quickly, I, McKinley was saying everything I agree with, a lot of what he's saying. But the one thing I wanted to say, I'm not like coming at this from an ROI or investment perspective. Like, I don't intend to come in and try to like invest in people's coins or whatnot. I, like, my, my, my back, background is like I'm an advocate for creators and trying to make more cre like, sure creators and artists are supported and get well. And inherently, like that, and that's one of the reasons why I'm such an advocate for the NFT space. I'm not sure if it's going to be as huge as it needs to be, but I'm really a supporter of what it can turn into, and I really think that NFT is something that like can go. But I also think that there's a lot of people in these spaces, in both spaces, but particularly in the big club, who, you know, they're coming in with an intent. The intent is a sort of this, um, to prey on uh, creators. And if, now I mean infrastructure, like in infrastructurally, the way they've created it, um, I mean, Cloud Score isn't a new thing. There's a company, like 10 years ago, 
second. No, I remember Clout. Yeah, Clout was uh, was a you know your. I remember that startup. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they were scoring people based on one to a hundred on um on like they would combine a meta analysis of Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, all your socials, um, and that was a whole thing. And they had a whole perk system and back end to it. Um, and it ended up flaming out after a week or so. So the idea of like scoring someone based on you know a value isn't new, but now with the dollar value attached, like McKinley was saying, it brings up this idea. Like now we're talking about like everyone's talking about the upside, like we're buying people up and we're building people up. But then also, and I heard this in another room that I was just in, and it, this is a great point. It's like people are going to be shorting people and cutting people down through such a system. So there's a ethical standpoint of like, is that a good bad thing, what does that mean? But also even beyond that, I, I worry about um, that like, actually you yes. know what? You know what? Uh, you hold on. I that okay. that's you, what you just put there is a really a, a reason why you don't want a low thing, right? That's why you want twenty percent. Because it stops those fuckers. The people who are gonna be doing that are gonna be looking for counts who are basically giving away ninety nine percent. So they're gonna go in there, maximize it but if if you're if you're if 20% of that go ahead short me all the time you know what i'm saying so that's an argument why you don't want to have a low um, you know like a 1 or a 2 or maybe even a 5 10 maybe minimum is my opinion just based on what you just said right there well i mean i know you say that i'm saying there's a lot of people who for example i'm not speaking for myself but there's a lot of people who i know would be like you know burdened by knowing oh people are shorting me on an economy, my valuation is being devalued, um, and like you know, mentally it wouldn't be good for them. I think there's an ethical standpoint to think about, like, yeah, yeah, is yeah, that right. good? Especially yeah, yeah. when people aren't asking to be put on this system, like people who are being pre-launched on the system by, you know, BitCloud having picked them off yeah, Twitter and just throwing them off. Like in anything, there's winners and there's losers, man. And it, this is not gonna like this new platform. If someone's that fragile already, there's six other platforms that they're already on that they can have their feelings hurt. Like, this, it's a game. And it's if fair. Like, it, there's winners and losers. Like, there's no participation trophy. It's like a nothing. I mean, with the Federal Reserve System we have, we're already losing. That's the biggest scam we have. So. But I think the infrastructural people who, like, like are working on crypto, who have worked on crypto for many years, there's other crypto projects that I think that are even longer term so all right let me let me chime in real quick so i agree with with pretty much i don't like the fact on here that you're putting a value number against someone i'm i that that you know that to me is is and and and, and especially in another group i was in oh i'm up to 2000 and that you know everyone's focused on that fucking dollar sign right and the whole idea of our markets and everything is 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 for this democratization and equality, and here we are in this cat and mouse, this thing, right? Right? So I agree with that whole premise. But here is the opportunity, right? Um, the They have said that this is going to be open source. This is going to be true like Bitcoin, that they'll open up the code beyond there. The opportunity, how I see it, is to take this code and fix it and, and, and launch something similar, all right, like an alternative, that doesn't treat people as a marketable thing, but actually um, rates them for their benefit. And you can read my work on it. I'm not going to go into my work, but basically it's 10 years of my work that that. I, so for me, why I am so why I am so gung ho in this is because I see this as a way I can take their code that they've done right that they will launch, or they're going to be shown up for it because they have to right. They said they would, and if they don't, they don't, um, and I can make it better. So for me, it's like, hey, and in the meantime, I can build and share the real reason why all this shit exists from my perspective, right? And and gain and also um, uh, use it as a way to kind of you know come out and say, hey, this is who I am. I've been away for you know for for three four years. Take care of my dad who passed away. I'm back, fuckers, and you know and uh, thanks for fucking coding this out for me. So that's me selfish, my motivation. Yeah. It's, it's going to be open source. And, and my first post that I put was,
was, if this doesn't work, I bought the domain name. It's cloud, spelled with a K, the right way, right? Like you were talking yeah. about, Neil. Yeah. We'll just make oh, like it, it's the cool concept. It's it's fun to see people pushing the envelope. No, no, no. Cool, Taz. I mean, I think, and that's the thing is, is like we're building community here. We're, you know, this is Sequoia Capital and a bunch of other fuckheads who are looking to make a dime off us, right? And the bottom line is, is that ultimately they're they they're gonna they're 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 validating. I mean, like that phrase. I think I told Chenzo. Imagine, you know, I use this. This is the kind of the the the, um, the slogan I'm using, right? Imagine if anyone could tokenize themselves and be the next Bitcoin. In essence, that's kind of what we're doing here. We're building our network, and our value goes up with people participating in that network. No different than you know, and it's and it's all backed on this idea of Bitcoin a store value. Correct. So the simple the 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 reality is, imagine a world, okay, where where there is AI, okay, that's monitoring what I'm doing. So I don't have to fucking tweet. I don't have to do this shit. You know, I'm just being me, interacting and doing the things I want to do. I want to do permaculture. I want to garden. I want to pick up the shit on the beach. I want to do that, right? And all of a sudden, because of how I spend this benefit that I'm giving out to the world. It's translating into this value that I can go to any store and go get a beer or go whatever, you know, because that value has, has created. And I can spend my life being good and doing the things to make this world a better place instead of playing this fucking stupid game like I'm doing right now in order to get us there. It's a beautiful, beautiful vision. And that's the vision that everyone wants to see. And, like, I remember the first time I read Satoshi's white paper. It was a revelation. It's genius. It's the idea of cryptocurrency, the idea of crypto in itself is something else. Um, what this worried me is over the, like, and I got in really early, I was very, you know, happy with everything that's happened so far. But what worries me is now how everything sort of contorting into this, um, cesspool. You know, it's, it's, <laughs> like a cesspool. But, sorry, I didn't hear what you said. Cesspool. 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 Yeah. Fucking quagmire. It's, it's a fucking quagmire. And that's why I left the other group. I was in another group. These other guys that run the other that that Chaz is right, and um, you know, and it was just a bunch of like, oh, I got this up to here, and I pumped this up to here, and everything else, and blah 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 blah, you know. And uh, and I'm glad you guys I saw another. I actually left and created my own group, and no one came to it, and I was like sad. I looked, and I was like, oh look, there's Chaz and and AJ. I'll go to their group. So anyway. Yeah. I got hey guys. I'm gonna be taking off here. I've enjoyed. I'm gonna. I'm, I'm, I gotta take my boy. My boys have been so patient today. Tommy wants to play Fortnite. He's 13. He's amazing. And Mikey has been begging me all week to go to the convenience store so he can get get his thing. Say hello, Mikey. Say hi. Hello. hello. So he's my he's my 10 year old. So I'm getting off here. I'm doing this last post here. Be sure to. Uh, connect with me on LinkedIn, um, and uh, you know, and let's keep this conversation going. I appreciate it was fun and uh, great meeting all you. Cheers, man. Good night. Appreciate it. Have a good night, man. Always.
shit. Like, damn.
Tommy, I'm over. When I'm running this here, you gotta open up this here, okay? Otherwise, it runs. And uh, I'm gonna 